One, two, three. No, what you are seeing is not a mirage. I am back. Brief hiatus. Uh, once again, our video project got a little bit out of scope, got a little bit crazy. It's turning out really, really well, though. And I finally had the light bulb go off in my head that said, you know what? This is a little big. Let's push it back. And let's just jump into some other stuff that we're excited to record. Otherwise, we get stuck on that hamster wheel of finish a project, stressfully try to figure out what the next one is, jump into it. Anyway, we're going to try something fun today. This is a total experiment. Absolutely no clue how this one's going to go. No goals, at least right now. I don't know what we're going to do. What are you know what what the what the goal in game will be chat how are you good to see you all I have missed you I say it all the time but whenever I go a long time without streaming it's been a week it's been like two weeks since we've played any of the games that we're used to be you know playing and I always have a little bit there's a little bit of anxiety that sets in the longer Thank I go you, without Tom a stream Sarah. it's baby time June oh no we're gonna have a lot of those today aren't we where there's one there's more. How is everybody? How are you all? Appreciate you all. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Juve. Missed you. I missed you. Beanie, thank you for three months. Arcane, thank you for nine months. I will be abandoning that child. You do you, Jared. Thank you for thank 11 you, months. Kind, sir. Probably Hello, gonna be Juve a few dearest. of these because I haven't streamed in a bit, which, again, incredibly thankful for. Appreciate you all. Uh, Zombi, thank you for the prime. Susan Meal, thank, thank you very sir. much for 10 months. Nice to see you. PlayStation memory card. Good to see you again. How are you? The hero of the uh, Fallout 4 without leaving the road hey, streams. Hey, hey, Juve. Nice to see you again. Is this like Skyrim Ultimate Iron Man? Not really. Uh, this one's going to be a bit different. So this is another sort of RuneScape challenge inspired uh, run that we're going to do. Thank uh, you, again, Tom, another sir. one that Settled did. Uh, but this this is going to be Skyrim with one inventory slot. <laughs> I, I think it should be fun. Uh, Red Yeti made a mod for us that should be really badass. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet girl. Thank you. Who is that? Who is that? Timmy Bucket, thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. Hold on one second. I have all my stuff confused and messed up on my second monitor. Timmy Bucket, thank you. I appreciate it. Memory card, thank you for five months. Uh, so, I mean, it's a pretty simple concept, out. right? The challenge. Uh, there are some rules. Exclamation point rules. Skyrim, but you have an iron deficiency. What is it? Does that mean I'll see stars all the time and get lightheaded? Oh my God. How can you kill a god? Isn't that what an iron deficiency is like? Beaky B! Wait a minute, wait, wait. B. You've only been subbed for one month? Wow. Um, if you are not familiar, Beaky B recently joined our team. Thank you, kind sir. It, 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 it is the... Okay, yes, yeah. We recently brought B onto our team. She is wonderful. Uh really hilarious stuff uh, that she's made. Thank you, Colin. On her on her channel. And First we're you know looking forward to, able to watch. Looking forward to putting some funny stuff together. So now we have two. We have Isaac and we have Thank you, B. kind sir. Uh, but thank you all. Reckon. Is that ten? Thank you very much for Gifting 10 subs to the community. Forgon, thank you for the tier one. Sire, how are you? May I inquire as to an RDR stream? Sonny, if you keep asking for a Red Dead Redemption stream, it will eventually happen. Did you ever play Enderal? I still have not played Enderal. Please read this. Baby, no more nerd. I am reading it. One inventory is all you need for bear traps. I I'm so... Okay, so the 30-day challenge, time, the video is making really good progress. It's really, really fun. Uh, it is just all over the place. It is, there are references Thank to Max Keeble, to Cyberpunk, to 
I, I took one of the sequences that we were doing for the Dark Brotherhood and themed the entire thing as if it was like a cyberpunk contract with the phone call and the dispatch and remixing some of the audio dialogue in the game to make it fit the cyberpunk aesthetic. It, it was it's just like it's gone way over the top in some areas, but I'm really enjoying the project. It's just there's a lot. I mean, we have the. I don't know. The hardest part is sort of like, OK, we have Max Keeble. How do I explain to people who Max Keeble is? Why did we name the character Max Keeble? Why is Max Keeble significant to this whole nonsense? And then it's sort of like, how do we get to the portion where, you know, we've done the Iron Man. We've done some grinding before in the game. How do we kind of repackage it? But then how do we start inching towards? OK, now we're doing quests. Now we're getting points. How do we start talking about bear traps? Where the hell did the, how did the bear traps fit into the story? Cause those are pretty significant. So they should probably be introduced kind of early or at least hinted at. It's like, it's a balancing act, uh, but it is, it's turning out really, really well. And it should be a very fun adventure. It's probably going to be another mammoth <laughs> video project, but I'm having a ton of fun with it. Um, when will we be resuming Henry? So we're going to do more Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're going to keep Kingdom Come Deliverance as sort of a side thing that we'll jump into. I do want to do a project on Kingdom Come. It's but, you know, I, I want to get either far enough into the game or beat the game. It'll be sort of a fun thing that we jump into for some side streams between other projects. Like after we finish recording this challenge, we'll probably do, you know, two or three kingdom come streams maybe limit it to two and then we'll probably do, throw something else in there um and then you know when we're done with kingdom come we'll do a project on it and start thinking of okay maybe since a lot of people want to see red dead maybe we do red dead maybe we do cyberpunk maybe we do Baldur's gate 3 because i did promise that a long time hopefully there's a bear trap montage of you killing you <laughs> okay so that that clip is in there when i accidentally took myself out with the bear trap and it is hilarious it's really funny. Like, I always feel I always have a hard time rewatching something and having it, you know, land and be as funny. But. That scene I'm a god. is you a god. is it 20? OK, hold on, hold on. I have to catch up on Missy. Y'all are being very generous today, and I love you all for it. Thank you. Yay, Juve stream. Time to jake off in one fell stroke like a Nord unsheathing his sword. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Thank you very much to Aku Wow. 25 gift. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Uh, Red Man, thank you for five months. Neil Ganda, thank you for the tier one. Babe Crusade, thank you for six months. Zenith Aries, thank you for six months as well. Lots of six monthers. Tuna Fosh, thank you for two months. First stream I am able to watch. And you've been subscribed thank for two months. That is very kind of you. Job is live. Everyone liked that. Maybe not everyone. You know, there's there's bound to be at least one person out there who's like, oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> it's like who probably looked I at their phone. Oh, by the way, YouTube VOD channel. Stop, please. I beg of you. You got to I, I can't handle the language that is used in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Thankfully, there won't be any language like that today in Skyrim. But please, please, can you just stop hitting the Kingdom Come VODs with the ad suitability thing. All right, I, I try my best to cover up that word, the one you don't like. All right, I know. I'm trying my best. Uh, somebody asked about Caitlin Clark. If you're not familiar who Caitlin Clark is, uh, God, just turns out there are two. What an amazing athlete. She is incredible. Game. Absolutely incredible. So cool. So, so unbelievably cool to see. Thank you know, you her, her do that to climb this Hi, mountain Hi, of Jeff, 20 months. Let's just go. athletic accomplishment. What an absolute badass. Yes, Jess, you that one. See you next Tuesday. YouTube's not a fan of that one.
I'm assuming that quest items will not count towards your inventory slot, right? Exclamation point rules. Quest items are droppable and the rules do apply to quest Worth items. So we're going to have Lord to see how that plays out. Swords like Henry unsheathing his ding dong. Okay. All right. Hey, whoa, wait, what's, what, what's all the ding dong talk? <laughs> wait, wait, where, where did, where did all this come from? We got people on stop. You just, no, we don't need, we don't, we don't need to make unsheathing our meat scepters a thing. Let's thank you. Kind sir. Shame that YouTube doesn't like that word. It's a British staple. Maybe it's because, well, I mean, the times I've said it, it's in an American accent and it comes off a little bit more harsh. Thank you, kind sir. Can you watch this little guy for a minute? I'll run off to get some cigarettes and be right back. No, hey, that's my job. I'm the cigarette guy in this relationship. I am off to go find the cigarettes. Worth every septum. Hey, Juve. Thanks for Helldivers 2 recommendation. I got it yesterday and I can T stop thinking about spreading democracy across the galaxy. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, also, Kajang, thank you for a thousand bits. Sorry, I kind of paused there for a second because I was thinking about democracy and freedom and how and how crucial boop she don't interrupt me with a boop okay i'm talking i'm i'm talking about saving freedom and democracy from the terminids and the automatons it's really good if you have a playstation or a pc definitely recommend i would say give it a week or so maybe they can hash out some of the server problems they've been having but hell divers too you get a couple friends man just awesome awesome game legendary game i would i would say it is easily easily zero hesitation i would put it deep rock galactic and left for dead tier co-op shooter it's a legendary game amazing jerk me i appreciate it thank you murderous persian pigeon pidgeon thank you very much only one wait 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 did i spell it wrong i didn't spell slot wrong did i Okay, I did not. I just finished watching the VOD with Act 3 of the Lusty Argonian. <laughs> no, monkey, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, thank you very much, unique NPC, for the 400 bits and for the boop. I appreciate it. Kajunk, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Very kind of you. Phasers to gun. Thank you for nine months. Miguel Medina, thank you for tier one. Queen Remy, thank you for a thousand bits. No more ding dong talk. <laughs> Ride the lightning, thank you for 20 months. Kerbals, thank you for gifting two subs. John Green, thank you for three months. Are we all caught up? I think we're all caught up. I hope so. Okay, anyway, today's challenge. The concept is fairly simple. I have no clue what our goal is. I have no clue what the, you know, sort of end recipe is or where we want to take this. This is mostly an experiment. We want to figure out what the hell, where we go, what we do, what's going on here. How do we handle this and problem solve and all that? It is okay. The, the, this. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? How dare you interrupt class with money? How dare? I'm a god. I, I am I have about had it with this class I have about had it with you all okay the substitute teacher shows up and all of a sudden you start acting a fool once again who was that thank you very much G pop for gifting 15 to the channel incredibly kind of you I very much appreciate it I forgot to start recording so I'm gonna make sure to take care of that right now yeah I will turn this bus around why are you blue? Am I blue? Why does the high elf look so sad? Because he only has... Okay, first off, it's a wood elf. Okay. Not a high elf. Let's get our... You know, let's, let's, let's get it right, okay? Not all elves are the same. Anyway. Oh, oh, it's it's a it's a placeholder uh, screenshot that I had that I just wanted to use for the slideshow. I was taking it for another thumbnail. 
Anyway. All right. Now the challenge is we have one inventory slot. That includes quest items. That includes weapons. That includes everything in the game except for money and keys. Because I think keys are kind of their own thing. Gold is kind of its own thing in its own category. We are allowed to stack things. So we can use that one inventory slot to stack up swords or maybe a piece of armor or, you know, maybe uh, an enchanted ring. Who knows? I have no clue. I, I have no clue how it's going to play. I just think it should be fun to limit ourselves severely and just kind of see how the game plays like that. Now, the rules do apply to quest items. So in the event that we pick up Meridia's Beacon, we would only be able to have Meridia's Beacon in our inventory. We can take it out of our inventory. We can carry it around, you know, and have it hover in front of our face. So that could be a gameplay element and a mechanic. A How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerobar. It's not fucking funny. All right. All right. I'm going to be writing a letter to your parents, to the dean of students, to the superintendent, to the principal, and to the janitor. There's a special dialogue if you drop Meridia's beacon? Is there really? Well, we'll find out. All right, anyway. Uh, uh, we Fancy, thank you for gifting five to the channel. Incredibly kind of you. I also opened up another scene of OBS, and I didn't start recording. Great. Fantastic start. Yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, we're doing great. We're doing fantastic so far. Very simple. Storage is not allowed. I am not allowed a bank, as this is Thank you, relatively sir. RuneScape inspired. We are not allowed a bank. However, if we bought a house, the house could function as our storage, right? If I have... 34 swords and i drop them and in skyrim as a large stack of items drops is just one item i think that that should be in play followers are allowed Thank they are allowed kind, although sir. we i made a few tweaks normally we don't use followers on these challenges today we're going to allow followers however i have a mod installed that gives the followers a chance to die the followers, if they go down to a knee, I believe a dice rolls and it's possible that they will die and be gone and dead forever. Because typically, you know, followers in Skyrim, they can already die. However, in vanilla Skyrim, if the follower goes down to a knee, the enemies will aggro to the player and the follower won't die. Usually a follower only dies in Skyrim via friendly fire or you know, some kind of ridiculous sequence plays out where they do end up taking damage while downed. It's very rare that a follower will go down to a knee and then die. One other thing for the followers. I can't use them as mobile storage, so I can't just stuff stuff into their inventory. However, if I find a really good weapon and I use my inventory slot for that one weapon, I can trade with the companion. So I will be able to, like if we have Feign Doll, and I end up finding, you, let's call sir. it a glass bow. Hi, I can swap that Who one for one. 13 is unlucky? Not me. Steve Whittle, thank you for 13 months. Hopefully it is a lucky month. Cat Comets, thank you for seven months. Evlia, 23, thank you for five months. I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. Genuinely appreciate it. Are arrows allowed? Um, most likely, no. I will not be able to use ranged. However, we can use magic. Magic won't take an inventory spot. The book will. But if we consume the book, the book disappears. We have Thank the spell. You, kind sir. Boo. So Did I scare you? Sorry. Sorry, Ed. Michelle, you got Thank me there. You, kind sir. Take it easy. Guys. Please, please go easy on me. Relax. You know, don't scare me like that. Protect me, Cone. Thank you for nine months. Yes, gold does not count. So we'll be able to use gold. Survival legendary? I don't know about that. We'll probably just do survival expert. Now for death, 
I have a mod installed that we're going to have to check the actual mod configuration menu when we get in game. Uh, <laughs> this image is so low res. I don't know if it looks as bad for y'all, but I got it off of Google and I had to like spread it and it's really blurry. It looks terrible. But my goal, if we look at the configuration of the mod, my goal is that if we die, we respawn and the item that we had, the item or stack of items we had in our one inventory slot will drop on that spot. That is, so that'll be kind of how we balance death throughout the challenge. Sorry, I know class has just started, but can I go to the bathroom? Oh yeah, you fucked up. Nope, 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 can't use that one. Thank you, can't kind sir. One. What's up, dollar store jobbo? Hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta re, we gotta restart this. <laughs> Nethalethic, thank you for 17 months. I appreciate it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I have to go back to that one message. Sir, I know class has just started, but can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? All right, anyway, back to the uh, back to the back to the task at hand. If we die, hopefully we can just drop our items on the spot. Have to go back to that spot, and make our way back there, and recollect it. The goal? I don't know. I have no clue what the goal is. No idea. Can we complete a quest? Can we complete all the quests? Can we kill a dragon? Most likely, I think that stuff would be on the table and possible. This is an experiment. Goal should be complete the Bard's... Why the Bard's College? It's one quest. It's not... Maybe Dawn Guard. I have wanted to do Dawn Guard for a while. But God, really? Am I going to do Dawn Guard? And... Am, am I going to really do Dawn Guard and not have a crossbow? That just feels wrong. Can we gamble? Of course you can gamble. Why would we, why would I ever discourage gambling on this stream? Now, be careful, folks. You always want to gamble responsibly. Because if you gamble too much, all right, something really bad could happen. Like, like what if you spent all your money gambling? How are you going to afford sir. drugs? All right, so remember, just be responsible with the money you gamble. So you can have a bow, but not arrows. Yeah, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Magic feels like a cop-out. Possibly. Possibly, it, it, although I feel like money will be really hard to make. And so getting really powerful spells will probably be difficult. I, I have no clue, to be honest. Oh, fuck, lockpicks. Then Dawn Guard isn't. That's right. Wait, we couldn't do Dawn Guard because we couldn't shoot the arrow at the sun. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Now that I think about it, this could be fun. Like what? Uh, I mean, how many puzzles are there? There's not many puzzles in Skyrim that involve shooting an arrow at something. But if there are or if there are sequences that require like the golden claw, you know, that's an item. The dragon stone. This could be interesting. We're going to have to decide, you know, what do we leave behind? What do we hold on to? What do we keep? Lockpicks should count, though. I mean, if I want to unlock things, maybe the only thing I have in my inventory is. Is lockpicks because we'd, be, we'd be able to find gold. I guess bound bow. Do bound do bound weapons feel like a cop out, though? Certain quest items can't be dropped. No, we have a mod. We can drop all quest items. I believe so. Use the fist God gave you. I mean, we have we have ordinator. We could do every an unarmed build. You should make it harder by forbidding playing as a mage. I mean, then how are we? I don't even know if we can play the game. 
What I really want to get is uh, you, restoration, chef. heal target, so we can heal our companion, keep them alive, keep them in the fight. Uh, oh, that's right. Wait, Khajiit has a buff to their melee damage. Unarmed Khajiit, restoration, keep our companion alive, look for upgrades to the companion. And then with... With Ordinator, which we learned during the Chaos Mage series, it does make hand-to-hand -hand fairly viable. Not amazing, but viable. So this could be really fun. I'm getting excited now. Now I'm excited. We're not going to do a super, super long stream today. I have dinner with family in a couple of hours. Today's stream is mostly just going to be, A, catching up with all of you guys. Once again, apologizing for taking so long away. Um, I, I am very lucky, though, and thank you all. I'm very lucky that I can take time away to really focus on a project, try to make it as awesome as possible, try to onboard, you know, some people onto the team and learn how we can work together and manage projects a little bit better. So genuinely, it means so much to me that I can take that time to focus on that stuff while allowing free time for myself to not, you know, be solely just focused on this job, even though it is like 99% of my entire life and personality and conversation topics if I ever run into strangers. Thank you all. Oh, and one other thing. I posted on the VOD channel. I made a community post on the VOD channel. I'm not sure if you saw it, but I kind of had this light bulb epiphany moment the other day where I thought, hey, you know what? Typically, when we make our projects... Hold on, I have to close out of several. I had my Photoshop open up. That's just going to waste CPU and all that. I had an epiphany the other day. So typically when we make a project, right, we have 20 to 25 hours, whatever it is. And Isaac will usually go through one VOD at a time and try to condense it down a little bit. I'll send him notes about it. And, and we'll, we'll essentially, you know, turn 25 hours into... Let's call it three hours or four hours, right? Typically around like maybe one hour per VOD or even less than. And what I've realized is as much as I love and appreciate that people like the VOD channel and want to, you know, catch up on things or maybe watch an old series. I think that having four videos that are each six hours long is very intimidating and also impossible to keep up with. That's that's a lot. You know, that, that I, I, you know, there are probably some people who have kind of slowly gone through and, and maybe watched a series. But at the end of each of these projects, we usually end up with about a four ish, three to four hour supercut of the whole series. And so for the 30 day challenge that we did for the one month challenge with the end of the world with Max Keeble and all that. When we have the whole thing finally cut up, I think Isaac is finishing the fourth one. We're actually going to put those together. It will still be the stream. It won't be the raw gameplay footage. It'll still be the stream footage. So you'll see chat. You'll see me. It'll be just like the streams, but super cut down. And we'll have those come out at some point after a project is finished. I think what that does for us is. Well, a when we create a project, we take the super cut and we cut even more, fill it in with, you know, narration or edits or B-roll or whatever we do to, you know, tell the story on the main channel. But I think taking that four hour supercut, we kind of throw out a lot of the hard work and it's a very important part of the process of how we make our projects. So we'll, we'll put this on the VOD channel at some point after. So and, and it seemed like when I made that post, people were really positive to the idea of it. Both options will still be available. I just think that this makes the series, the series is the serials. I think this makes the serials a bit crunchier and easier to follow a bit more. Di it makes the cereal more digestible, if that makes any sense. Waffles greater than pancakes. I do agree. I need that crispiest crispiness. How are you going to hold the Elder Scroll for Parthenax and then fight Alduin? We'll have to find out. Maybe we do the main story. Um, but thank you again, Bearded Sage Rush. Thank you for gifting a sub. Pasha Lau, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you all. Thank you. How do you stream this early? It's noon. 
Wait, what, what time do you think it is for me? It's for me, it's noon. Which I think is, you know, a fair enough time to start my workday. I mean, I, I started my workday not long ago. I, I think I started my workday about three hours ago so that I could get set up for, you know, the challenge, make the slideshow, test out some of the mods. Anyway, sorry this took so long to kind of intro and chat about. A lot of times these catching up streams take quite a bit. But let's do this. I disabled... I disabled a couple of mods that I think might have been causing some of the crashing I had. Fingers crossed. I'm a bit nervous about that. I have a thrilling, thrilling change to the gameplay today for y'all, though. This is huge. G genuinely, this is, is going to be big for y'all. Instead of lockpicks, you can use the tower stone sign to unlock expert of below. <gasps> Terrifying man, this is the beauty of these kinds of challenges. The tower. Okay, if we focus on the tower, we can have some lockpicking. Or, with Ordinator, we'll have lockpicking uh, spells. Here we go. This is exciting. Check it out. We are so fucking back. My friends? A personality like the super long videos, I always have them on when I'm working or doing chores and stuff. It helps me keep on task when I'm doing stuff. As well, it's nice to hear a voice all the time. No doubt, Moonwatcher. Both options will still be available. That's very important to Thank me. Thank you, kind sir. Why am I so close to him? What is going on with my FOV? Is it normally like this? Are you, are, am I, are you normally this close to Rayloff? Finally. Ugh. Oh no, I'm all the way down in the- You are finally awake. Thank you, kind you sir. trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Oh, I think it's because of the first person camera mod I have. Oh, gee, thanks, Twitch. I love getting stream notifications a half hour after you go live. Sup, June. Mr. Feather, thank you very much for a thousand bits. Very kind of you. Don't worry, all you missed was the background and catching up and all that nonsense. Rogue Leader, thank you for six months. And Foolies, thank you for the Prime. For a fisting run, clearly the best choice is Frida Fista, the Nord sister to Turkey Stick, mother of two key stick. Frida Fista? Is that a character in game? Also, stop making fun of Rayloff, okay? Just because he's hot now. What village are you from, horse thief? I do what think Rayloff has been mewing, though. Last thought should be the home. I can't stop. I, I, I can't stop thinking of all these terms. They're just so goddamn funny. I've, I've learned all of them now. They're just in my vocabulary, and I'm ashamed of it. Mewing, jelking, gooning. <laughs> They're all so goddamn funny. <laughs> it's so stupid. I learned Phantom Tax last. Okay, I don't know General what that one really is. I thought it was Phantom Tax. And it looks like the Thalmor are with them. Damn elves. Jelking is Dive. <laughs> it is. It's so stupid, too. This is what is Gooning? used to be sweet on a curve from wonder if Vlog is still making that mead with juniper berries. Okay, so I would assume when Rayloff goons, he when thinks of the smell of juniper berries. Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Phantom Tex is a thing from the streamer Kai Sanat. His buddy Phantom always takes a bite of his food. No way, is that really where it comes from? Yes, Papa. 
Why are we stopping? I had no clue. Why do you think? I thought it was phantom tax. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we worked with you. This is a mistake. I do feel bad for Loke here. He got the short end of the stick. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. So wait, this is what the player character looks like before they actually customize themselves. I guess I knew that. I've seen that before. No care of Rorik's death. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Worth every second. Come on, kid. You got this. Wait. You He didn't make it this time. Who are you? Okay, we are going to go Khajiit. We're going to get a buff to our unarmed damage. Also, we haven't played a Khajiit in a while. So we'll go Khajiit. We'll play a Lady Khajiit this time. Wait a minute. Hold on, time out. These look way cooler. Thank you, kind sir. These are sick. Look at that. I think this one's my favorite, though. That that just looks cool. It looks badass. Got to go with a little bit of muscle. Obviously, I always have to go with some muscle. That is a pretty long neck, though. Uh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. I liked. I think that was the tone I had before. I don't know. I'm just we're going to go with this. This is a cool character. Very unique compared to a lot of the ones we played for. All right. This will be our wonderful character. What what just happened? Why did they why did this? One slot. Uh, or only, why, okay, I can't use a capital, or, I don't understand why it's doing that. Only, one. I think it's capital O brings up that, or shift O brings up that menu. Solo slot, ooh, 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 ooh. How about this? How about slot solo? Is that a cool name? Something with single. All right, I think solo has to be in there because solo is cool. Cringe. <laughs> single lady. <laughs> I kind of like single lady. I mean, if we're referring to Beyonce. I'm doing a challenge run of my own, actually. One where I'm only allowed to level the enchanting skill. It's been interesting. Only, how do you, I guess if you force the game to block level ups of any other skill. Unless you just straight up don't use any melee weapons, you don't sneak, you just sprint into a place and loot things and then leave. But you can't get hit because then you'll get armor XP. Hand solo, ooh, hand solo. I don't know about single lady. No, we're not putting Jelk in the character's name. Carrie Uno. Carrie Uno Wayman son. Hand solo is pretty good, but single lady is S tier. Has one hand. I like that one. Wait, yeah, well, no, that's more of an Argonian naming convention, though, right? If we did, like, okay, it's going to bring this up. If we did, like, 
only okay I, I gotta stop using capital o's only one hand that's that's more argonian one paw solo pocket <gasps> pocket what about pocket solo no poly pocket <laughs> we're gonna land on something solo baggins Ooh, that's a good one. I'm not naming the character Pocket Pussy. What in the... Uh... <laughs> Wait, what? What? Uno Mano. One hand. Wait, Uno Mano, that's one hand, right? Out of pocket. I like out of pocket. I do. I do like out of pocket. That's really good. Out of pockets or just out of pocket. Yeah, we do have to give it a little bit of that Elder Scrolls flair. Out of pocket. Out of pocket. It just keeps evolving. This is a challenge in itself. <laughs> it keeps going. Locking it in. Welcome to the marvelous adventure of out of pocket. You with one of the trade caravans, Keji? Your kind always seems to find trouble. No. Captain, None of them want to hire me because I... She's not on the list. Forget the list. Can't care. I can't carry anything. I got fired. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We make sure your remains are returned to Ellsworth. Pause. I do have one complaint, though. Mine, sir. I do have one complaint, though. So, with the animation overhaul that we use, what, if you guys remember when we played the Chaos Mage, the punching animation felt really good i mean it was impressive how the punches looked and how they felt the only issue i have is that with khajiit their animation is more of like a claw it's not as punchy you'll notice you'll notice when we get into a couple of fights follow the captain prisoner we'll stick to it though i have to go to fencing practice in a church <laughs> That's kind of wild. <laughs> Are you actually going to go fence? That's cool. Here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. Yeah, it, it may it makes sense that it's more of a swipe because they are using claws. I just don't think it's as boom. Yeah, see? Bah. You know it's not as What was that? It's nothing. It's more of a yeah, yeah. Give them their last ha, yeah. As we yeah. Your souls it's more of that. Blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Learn. As you wish. Maybe it's a hot take, but this guy deserves to die. He interrupted the commendation. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. Mm. You imperial bastards! Ooh, ooh, oh! The power of mods. As fearless and dead yucky. As he was in life. <laughs> Not a hot take. That guy sucks. There it is again. Did you hear that? You know, we haven't done this intro in so long, I forgot how long it is. Nice and easy.
I think you should kill Alduin by blanking his blank. What in oblivion is that? Sentry, what do you see? Thank you, Khan, sir. Yay, I haven't been able to catch a stream live in a bit, so I'm glad to be here. Coronier, good to see you. Thank you for six months. Yeah, Scribble Knot. Thank you for the tier one. I, I think it, the notification is actually cut off. Thank you, Scribble Knot. All right, we're back on. Ooh, you know what I realized I should... I thought my game broke there for a second. Let me get through this. I forgot, I actually want to put the speed run timer. Come on, man, that's just rude. I want to put the speed run timer on the screen, not because we're going for any speed run goals or anything. It's just a lot easier to line up the stream footage and the raw gameplay recording. Which one is this? Is this Hadvar? Oh, Rayloff? Wait, what, what's the implication of the inventory slot? Now that we're like actually fully into this, make sure to save my game here. Let's try also one thing. We're gonna have to look into our mod configuration. Follower death slash injury chance. Let's get this one set up. Death chance, 15% upon kneeling. Injury chance, 15% upon kneeling. I think that that's fair. Randomized injury duration, no less than two days and no more than 20 days. Holy shit, that's a long time injured. Yeah, I feel like 15% time, keeps them fairly- Enchanting only means that staves, unarmed, clothes and jewelry are all legal for me. Staves, unarmed, clothing and jewelry. That actually sounds pretty fun. Make it 50-50? What's the to use? I use anniversary. I'm to donating, but I love your content. First time catching a stream live. Scribble not, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna up this death chance to 50%. Now, our, our yeah, okay. Our followers have a 50-50 chance of dying if they go down to it. That feels so strong. That's a little high. 25%. I think 25% is fair. They're gonna go down. We're gonna lose some people. It's gonna be heartbreaking, but we have to have that dice roll. Thank you, Khan, sir. It should totally be fair. Let's go. Skyrim. Kamerkel, good to see you. Thank you for 10 months. How are you? 25% death, injury 50%. I don't really know what an injury does. We'll just, we'll, we'll keep them at 25. Cause that means there's, there's a 50% chance roughly of something bad happening. What's 0.25 divided by 0.25? 37 and a half? I believe that means we have a 37.5% chance of something bad happening to a follower if they go down. Is that how probability math works? How do I find the current mod list? So my mod list, at least the collection that I have on the Nexus is both incredibly downvoted <laughs> it's it's at like 48 percent upvotes uh and it's it's pretty unstable but i think exclamation point modless should take you to the collection All right, we'll go with that. And then for death, we need 
Oh, it's not even on. Okay, so if we die, no, not permadeath. Experience loss, all progress to the next skill level is lost upon dying. Percentage of gold lost upon dying. Twenty-five. Wow. Okay. Okay. Chances that items are lost upon dying, not including equipped items. One hundred percent. Now I have. We'll have to test this the first time we die. I want it to be if we die we can go back and pick up our items I think we should be able to I think the mod allows for that simple injuries a debuff is received upon dying level up to decrease this debuff hmm I feel like if we go experience loss gold loss Thank and you, item Tom, loss sir. that's already pretty who is the biggest brick you know Oh, I, I can't say his name, but I think you know who the biggest brick we know is. Thank you for 16 months. Equipment loss should be checked to ensure it takes whatever you had equipped. Uh, yes, we will check that, because if we had a sword and we were using a sword or a piece of armor... All right, I think that has a setup. And then there can only be one. This is the mod. I have to hold down the G key to pick up an item. I did test the functionality of it earlier, and it was great. We'll meet again in Sodom, God, brother. And after 52 minutes, if you're on the VOD channel, I will leave a timestamp here. The challenge has begun. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. His face Just looks so uncanny the here. Stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Thank you. Thank you. May as well take on your skier. Wait a minute. I'm carrying items I can't use. Get them off me. So here's the way it works. If I hold down the safety key, I can grab something. It will automatically equip equipables as well. Oh, great. We're going to be a naked Khajiit the entire time. That means everybody's going to be making lewd comments. Keep it in your pants and be mature, chat. What about the timer? Oh, shit, you're right. I'm going to set up the timer. Okay, ignore the challenge starts here thing that I just said. Give me like two seconds here, chat. Apologies. Let me get the speed run timer set up. I'm a professional. This is my job. And I work very hard. <laughs> I'm also a dumbass. Stupid as shit. Can't think of a rhyme, so we'll rhyme it with spit. Uh, I think we just boom. Jack. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, I'm all the way down in the corner. We'll move ourselves up. There's our timer. It is also on the recording. I think we're good. Looks good on both ends. Take his armor and anything else on it. Uh, timeout. All right. Get that armor on. Give that axe. Oh, he doesn't care. Okay, sweet. I thought for a second we'd have to take every single item off of Gunyar, but we don't. That's good news. So I'll probably go with the armor. I think I would rather tr oh wait didn't oh yeah this is what happens if, if we are not allowed to pick it up it will just drop it right back down we have to hold down the safety key in order to actually pick something up 
So we'll equip the armor for now and hopefully get some light armor training. We're gonna need light armor XP if we want our hand to hand to be improved. Just checking difficulty, we're good. We are playing expert survival. Bring it on, meow. Ooh, easy, easy now. Let's not die in the intro here. I think these guys are nerfed though. Another day, another. Maybe one of the superiors had the key. Is it just me or is Rayloff huge? Is he supposed to be this tall? Am I short? What's happening? Found the key. Let's see if it opens that door. The idea of raw hand hitting steel sword makes me want to die. It does seem rather awful, doesn't it? Like that would suck. I should take damage for that. Okay, well if I'm short, then I, you know, it's just, it's an underdog story. It's not a big deal. I'm not afraid of nothing. Let's get some sneak XP. Why is this guy hammering a barrel? Wait a minute. Wait, no, no, no. Go back to doing what you were doing, because that was really stupid. He's over there. I need to gather more potions. So you're hammering the barrel? Another day. Another victory. See if you can find any potions. Oh, yeah, no problem. This is gonna I suck. Time, sir. This is gonna suck. <laughs> but you know what we can do? We can loot everything and at least visualize what's in there. Where are the other barrels? There's a few more lootables in here, right? I guess if I really needed a potion, I could carry it to the next fight like this. If I want to keep my armor. Let's get moving. Thank you, kind sir. Glad I could catch your stream again. How are you doing? Krizzy, good to see you. Thank you for seven months. Nortisk, thank you for the tier one. I'm doing well. Very excited. This should be a really fun challenge. Experiment. More experiment than challenge. Okay, into the bucket. Mm. Wait, we almost hit that. Come on. Into the bucket. Into the bucket. Fuck. I got this. I got this. I got this. Something in this cage. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. Did he give me lock picks? That's so cool. So when somebody hands you an item, it just drops right at my feet. It's like I have my pockets are sewn shut and everyone just keeps trying to throw them. They're just throwing them at me. I can't catch them. So we'll go back to being naked. You are out of luck. Oh, the safety key. Starting off with 12 lockpicks is pretty huge. Let's steal. We're going to, you know, XP is going to be really hard to get. So let's just get as much as we can early on. Especially since we have the lockpicks in our inventory. What about gold? Gold is uh, not an item. Gold does not count. Did my mouse just die? Yeah, so we can collect gold like normal. Keys as well, I believe. But anything else? We'll drop right at our feet. We want to loot this guy. We can make him naked. But it just piles up and apparently makes him ragdoll even more. <clears throat> 
15 lockpicks. Do we uh, do we hold on to the lockpicks or do we try to get some light armor XP out of the intro? I feel like I should hold on to lockpicks. Oh, the spell. You're right. Hold on. I forgot about the spell. We're not going to count, by the way, flames and healing. We won't count these until I buy a replacement or find a replacement. But sparks, we can certainly count. So we've got our lockpicks. We have a spell. Let's get that favorited. Sparks kind of sucks, though. It's pretty bad. Let's swap it. I like spelling left hand. Gotta have that right hand open for claws. Is the end goal here completing Dawn Guard? There really is no end goal. Just kind of an experiment. See what we're able to accomplish. All right, I already feel cool. Come on. I don't really want to get too invested in... Ow. Okay, it's, it's just the tutorial, right? That's why this is easy? Is it my gaming prowess or is it tutorial? Oh, gosh, you know what? I'm going to change plans. We're actually not going to use the lockpick. You know what we're going to do instead? We're going to ditch the lockpicks. We're going to we're going to take the the sword just attack me. We're going to take Imperial swords. We're going to stack these up. Yes, we're going to use our one inventory slot. Because they're going to be worth a decent amount of money, right? Or wait, what would be worth the most? Probably the armor. Okay, the swords really need to stop attacking me. Yeah, the armor's not going to weigh a whole lot. I keep forgetting to hold down G. So we'll use our one slot just for Imperial Light Armor. Stack up as much as we can. It's probably not a ton, but we can get a little bit. Lockpicks will come and go. And, oh wait, I'm already, keep, I'm already wearing one kind of the game to automatically equip it. Now I don't have to be naked. A little bit of cash, not much. Yo, let's not die. <laughs> let's please not die in the intro. Venom, only worth 21. No, let's keep the armor. Let's keep trying to collect it if we can. Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Clueless. What a shocking development. Come on, punch his ass. Why? Whoa, what is that damage? Holy shit. Nikes. I can eat the bear claws. Restore stamina. That won't take up. Ooh. Wait a minute. If possible, if we're in trouble in the middle of a fight in the wilderness, we can drop our one active item 
if there are, let's say there's blue mountain flowers all around us, we could probably drop the one active you, item we have in the middle of a fight Hi. to pick up some quick heals. Ashali, thank you so much for three months. All right, let's get out of here. That was kind of a snooze fest. I was like, wow, this is going to be such a throwback for the channel. We haven't gone through the whole intro together in so long. <laughs> but at least we got introduced to the new mechanics we're going to have to deal with here. And religion. Who shall our god be? Ooh, Mayrune's Dagon. Hmm. Mephala. Riddle Thar. Why are there so many of them? Should we get into religion on this run? We've never really done it. Shagorath? Alright, we'll see. Well, what is Shagorath? Shagorath, the mad god, is the prince of madness, whose motives are fickle and unknown. Pray to receive a random touch of madness. Tenants, pray often and receive Shagorath's touch of madness. Never disrespect cheese. Okay. He's gone for good this time. Thank you, kind no sir. I don't know what just happened. Favor with Shagorath, 119.7%. Oh, wow. Shagorath loves me. What is the effect? Receive touch of madness whenever you enter combat? Pray often and receive Shagorath's touch of madness. Praying grants you a random touch of madness. Okay, well, what? Fortify warmth. No? That's not it. I have no clue what this is going to do. Although I'm nervous though, this I feel like this might change. I feel like this might change the uh, sort of gameplay of it all a little bit. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Like I'll I would I would like to do and play around with the summer set. I think that's the mod that adds the religion. I feel like Shale, though, changes the core gameplay loop a bit too much. What about Mayrin's Dagon? Defile the shrines of my enemies. Those skilled in destruction are most deserving of my favor. Winter Sun is the religion. Somerset is enchantments. Thank you, kind sir. Love you, Juve. Keep living the dream. JD Sim, thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think we'll do one. I think I think it takes away too much focus. It, it would probably fit for a different run. Alright, first order of business. Let's get these impure. Ooh, you know what? I think I know how I want to start this. Rather than Imperial Light Armor. I, I do like the idea of stacking up light armor for our initial money. But what we're going to do instead of Imperial Light... I'm going to hop right over this little hill here. Oh, we're not going to be wearing boots, by the way, for the entire run, so you better get used to the feet splapping on the ground. Oh, 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 no, 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 let's not die right off the bat. Oh my god. Please. For the love of Talos, don't do it to me. <laughs> easy, easy. We just gotta dodge the two-hander. I'm a lot stronger than I gave myself credit for. I don't know how I killed them both, or what happened there. <laughs> but they're dead. Oh god, food. Food is gonna be a nightmare. Oh no! Oh, we gotta go, it's a whisper. He's gonna shoot really fast. I'm dead. I'm not? Who's calling me? Why am I getting called right now at this time of day, at this time of year, localized entirely to my cell phone? Yeah, I'm gone. 
I am out of there. Oh, wait, loot. Is the bandit still there? No, that. Oh, wait, did Rayloff kill him? Rayloff, you beautiful bastard. Where'd they go? Nice. Oh, he did. Rayloff, you're an absolute legend, you, a sir. scholar, and all the above. Here's how we're going to have to eat directly from their pockets. So we're going to ditch Imperial Light Armor. We're going to go Hide Armor because bandits wear a ton of it. Imperial Light Armor is not going to be as stackable. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult to eat. It's a lot harder to eat food that's out in the open rather than just on their bodies. It's just a complicated set of inputs. I need a button that lets me just eat food off the ground. Get our health back. Skill book. Nice. Not a big fan of getting one-handed, though. One-handed just feels like empty XP. You don't need to drop the items. The mod will drop it for you. No fucking way. Are you serious, Yeti? Okay, so if I go here with my armor on and I pick up these black mage robes. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Can you put items on a body and carry the body? No, I would consider that as storage. That's so cool. Oh, that is true. Yeah, if we use bound weapons, one-handed could work. That's very possible. I completely forgot. Uh, okay. I'm already mismanaging. I'm bungling it. Real bungler. Such a great word. I feel like it's underutilized. You just bungled it. They're wearing iron. God dang it. I think I'm going to commit to light armor again, though. Because with Ordinator, if we go into light armor, that's where it gets really fun. We get up here, we go Iron Fist, boom. Now we're getting increased. We're getting increased hand to hand damage. You should definitely become. I did think about Werewolf. Werewolf is actually. Uh, that's not a terrible idea. Doesn't take up an inventory slot. Incredibly powerful. Not a thing that we've used a ton on the channel. We have become a werewolf before. I think we'll go. We're going to need to get the tower stone eventually. But for now, I'll go with the mage stone. We'll go with the mage stone. Can you use Adamant and Ordinator? I don't think you can use both. Do the Dawn Guard, but go full Vampire. That, I think that's what I want to do. What is the Forsworn doing here? No, 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 no. This is the level one cave. You don't. It's a Forsworn axe as well. Oh my lord, this is overpowered. The Khajiit hand-to-hand -hand might be broken. With whatever balance mods I have, Khajiit hand-to-hand -hand is very good. I'm a big fan so far. How much you want to bet I get a disease here? Feels like I'm a glutton for it. times what what is it what is it about this game what the fuck man todd please dude i like man for, are you serious you gotta be kidding me on the next hit i can sense it i can just 
I can sense it. It just knows. See, this is why I have an addictive personality. This kind of bullshit. Leaves me to all my coping mechanisms. Unreal. I'm so sick of rock joint, dude. I get rock joint, I swear. Oh, that's cool. Combo, electricity, right hook, kill cam. I need more of those. Sign me up for more of that. All right, we took some damage, so while we're on the road, we can do some of this. This is how we heal out on the road. We just collect flowers and we eat them. I had a friend one time in grade school who I think tried convincing me that eating grass was normal. He was connecting with nature. Like, no, it's like, this is nature's lettuce. I don't know if that's exactly what he said. I may be embellishing the story a little bit. I know I dropped the armor. I'm looking for more flowers. I need, I need a little lunch. <gasps> Wait, why did it drop that? Thank you, Karn, sir. You know what? This is what it's all about. Being out here in nature, eating the food that she grows, connecting with the dirt and the soil. Oh God, I can't grab the flower. I need to like nudge it. Come, stop rolling a, would you? Cut it out, you little... Man, I'm getting into a shouting match with a... with a daisy. That's enough health for now. Armor back on. That's so cool how as soon as you pick it up, though, it goes right on. Does Khajiit have painted toenails? Can I get a 20 piece chicken McNuggets large McFries? Who calls them McFries? I think they do have painted nails. Thank you, kind sir. Painted toenails at least. How many bananas do you think you could eat in one hour? Three. By banana number three, I'd probably start getting a little... Eh uncomfortable stimulant perk of the alchemy tree we'll check that out alchemy stimulants when you use a beneficial potion or ingredient you regenerate two percent of your magicka and stamina per second for 30 seconds holy fuck that's really good we already have Alchemy 20. We could take that perk. See? That right there, chat? That's a good-ass suggestion. We need more of that. Yeah, it looks like ingredients would count towards that benefit. So that would mean if we're in the middle of a fight, if we can spy Mora Tapinala, Red Mountain Flower, Purple Mountain Flower, Blue Mountain Flower, any of those basic stock standard beneficial potion ingredients, if they are on the battlefield, they are in play. That perk immediately puts them in play and makes them beneficial for us. It's essentially a replacement for potions. You should definitely do lock picking skill tree. Not right now. I have evolved from a VOD watcher. Some would argue that you have devolved into a Twitch pleb. Good to see y'all, though. I appreciate everybody. Alright, step one. We need a servant. How would you level up alchemy, though? We won't have to. We don't- we simply don't have to. We already have alchemy 20. We started with alchemy 20. I find it funny the only reason content creators are working is because they can't log into Helldivers. It's me. 
I'm content. Creator. I know that's 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 why I'm streaming right now. I couldn't get on to. <laughs> I couldn't get back into Hell Divers. What if we watch the YouTube videos with your stream open? Hey, that's a win. No, any anyway, anyway, Thank guys, kind, we need to think about this seriously. Do we take Sven? Do we take Feindall? What are you doing here? I'll be right down. What is who's yelling? Thank you, Khan, sir. Feindl is a dweeb. They're both dweebs. I, I feel like we landed on this. We landed on this. Oh, what are we gonna do about the letter? It's only one quest item. Although I, I feel uncomfortable parting with my armor. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no yet. I'm too early. Where the hell is Feindal? Or as Camilla says it, Feindal. Now, Rail, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred. It's pretty easy to ignore, but it is kind of funny to think about. This guy, Rayloff, just killed multiple soldiers that he is actively engaging in civil war against. Like. Honest to God, I think my walk to school when I was nine was longer than this. That's a pretty short distance. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was new to Riverwood. Of course. Oh, what's this all about? Oh, this is big. I don't think I can eat or drink directly from this. Until next time. I don't know where Feindal is. Worse than I feel. Yes, uh, Phasers, I have seen that channel. I haven't watched too many of their challenges, but I definitely should. But I've seen them. I've seen them on my front page a lot, and I'm like, fuck yeah, dude! Morrowind challenges, hell yeah. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine. I keep telling him. I love that. You know, you gotta love a guy who's so dedicated to the pussy that he will interrupt his concert to talk to a complete stranger. Like, he's up there rocking it. Da -na -na -da -na 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 gold he had made. Feindel thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius, that son of a bitch. For the past days and now Camilla is mine. Door and her eight quests, then need to others. Argonian Nerevarin baby. I've been stuck in open for the past few days and now doing house. Oh, hell yeah, Wolfie. Open Morrowind is great. Huge, huge recommend on it if you have a if you're on PC. You and Feindal both like the same girl. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Uh, yeah, yeah, two people spending time together and never... Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Sven, why would you insult Orgnar? He... Give you a particularly he, venomous letter. he got insulted and left. Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. The item you just received is a quest item. Do you want to keep it? So if I keep it, what happens to my armor? I'd better get going. Oh my god, it takes the armor off. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. So we can keep keys. But the letter. Okay, so this is his fake letter from Feindal. We've read Sven's letter. Or we've read the fake letter that Feindal wrote in the person of Sven. Dear Camilla. No, that's, that's not right. That's not. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, 
and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true son of Valenwood, and I can never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand <laughs> your people's place in the Aldmeri Dominion and respect me as such. That's so funny. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Feindal wrote this? Honestly, that one made me laugh way more than Feindal's fake letter, so we're gonna go with Sven. Plus, on the bright side, Sven can die. It's so over the top. I, I really hope that you can respect that you are an inferior blood to mine, uh, so I'm no longer interested in having sex with you. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. He might be right. He, he, you know, that letter might be onto something. She doesn't sit on the... This is, this is suspect. Okay, I have a letter from Feindel. From Feindel? From Feindel? He's, he's never written to me before. What, what is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that, that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. He's not welcome. I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Yeah, no, I gathered that from the letter insulting you. All right, Svenny boy. Time for you to sacrifice yourself for my success. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Yep, hold that. that. Pipe down. To never speak to Feindal ever again. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. 25. Nice. Now that you finally have an opportunity to court your lover, Lead the way. let's get out of town. Let's leave her behind so that the only person she can hang out with now is Feindal. Out of my way, stranger. Wait. Why can I not? Oh, crap. We need to... What do you want? The hide armor is equipped. And the letter is gone. Oh, the wait, oh, I'm an idiot. The letter's gone because we gave it to Camilla. What's wrong with you? I'm the innkeeper. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, now it's going to get a little bit weird. I'm probably going to want to try and steal some food. But the food that sits on the counter, we can't eat off the counter. It has to go into our inventory in order to eat it. The easiest way to eat is out of a container containing food. Wrap your head around all that nonsense. Oh god, it's raining right now. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot to go with Obsidian Weathers. I think we want Season Effects on. I like the Fantasy Filter. But there's two, there's two commands that limit. I keep forgetting the two commands that limit how much rain there is. I gotta find them real quick. I forgot where it was. It's going to be kind of buried on the stream chat channel of the Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, feel free to join. You know what we should do? We should do some kind of emote design concept thing on the Discord. I think that would be fun. I did reach out to another emote artist. So we can hopefully get a little bit more. My emote game is trash. Tra it's so bad. My emote game is so bad. Got it. Set. Global season. Overcast rain.
All right, there we go. We get it. I should, and I didn't pin it. Because you can eat raw meat and fish without getting food. Oh, that's huge, actually. That is massive. If we can just eat raw food, because we're going to be able to find so much raw food in barrels and whatnot. Like, we go back here. Okay, sack of flour. That doesn't... I mean, I might as well just eat these apples. It's going to be minimal... We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Glass, horker tusk. Nothing. Sven really doesn't have armor. Great, perfect. Just what I wanted more rain. Just what I love. Fishing is off the table. Can't do fishing. Is there a randomizer mod for Skyrim? Yes. There's a few. There's a randomizer mod that I think changes a lot of the stuff in the overworld. Let's team up real quick with this wolf. Why is the elk not moving? <gasps> and we can just eat directly from the inventory of the elk. That is huge. That didn't do anything for me, though. How much? I didn't get any stamina back. Unfortunately, I have to go to work. Hope the rest of your stream goes well. Mental Shatter, have a wonderful day at work. Hope you have a good shift. Hope it's not too stressful. Thank you, kind sir. So elk are like fast food on your travels. Basically, yeah. We have our own McDonald's delivery service. It's like DoorDash. Except I have to manually run out and get it. The elk should be tipping me. It says the link, uh, did the link expire? If you use the link from the command, I might have to update it. The companions are killing a Mr. Giant. Let's help him out. And then run away. I don't want to talk to Ayla. She's going to either insult me or praise me for doing almost nothing. Greg? No, that's not Greg. Greg's over there. That's Greg. And potentially his brother, depending on the time of day. Thank you, kind sir. This is on Starting expert. Yes. Starting this playthrough strong restarting with the reset. Collier, good to see you. Thank you for nine months. My favorite challenge run is only using named items. That's fun. And I think that that would be great because, yeah, like you said, it encourages completing content and having breakthrough moments. build maybe possibly the one time I talked to someone else he's like, Lumpkin I'm, I'm I'm sure your ideas are fantastic all right where do I go from here with the knife. Okay, so Sven is pathetic. He's got a bow, he's got a dagger, 
we probably want to focus on upgrading Sven's inventory. Wait a minute. No, we want him to die, don't we? I found your YouTube videos and binge literally all of them. Glad I could catch a stream. Glad you're here too, Parker. Thank you for watching the channel. You can get speech XP from shouts. We might need to collect some shouts. Not sure if other people agree, but I would really like to see you play Stalker. Oh, I ended up playing Gamma after that first stream we did with Anomaly. And I do, we will cover it again. Absolutely. It's really, really good. Gamma is awesome. It's, <clears throat> it takes so many sound effects and like gameplay elements from Tarkov and Fallout 4, but I, I, it's so good. Plus it's a mod. If it was like an actual game and it was using those assets, it'd be a little bit, you know, suspect, but it's a mod, it's a fan project and it uses them to, you know, really elevate that game. Get Uthgird while you're here. She is way better. I don't know if I agree with that simply because if we take Uthgird, she is going to die at a certain point. Wouldn't we rather have Sven for these early offerings? Build up maybe a bank of followers. We also have to get rid of our disease. We have just enough gold. Let's do it. Let's clear out our rock joint. I always forget to get rid of my disease. Not today. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors. Dear Sven, I know I have called upon your aid many times, and while I might be running around clothes lit, I have clothes. Excuse me, I am not naked. I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born daughter of Elsewhere, and I can never be found. Oh, you're just, you're, it's a copy pasta of <laughs> Feindal's fake letter. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got, I enjoy this work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Sorry, hold on. Do you mind? Hey, could you hand the bounty over to me? I didn't quite get to read it. Well, I can still read it. Ma'am? Hold on, hold on. This is a really devious paper cut. Is anybody in chat a surgeon? She took damage. She just took damage. That was an actual paper cut. Did you hear that? You don't make that noise. Is there a way that I can check her health? I, I honestly, just for science, I want to see how much damage the paper did. Is there like a check stats command? Click on her get av health. Get av. 75. Is there any way I can check her total health? Wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. That was a damage grunt. That was a damage grunt. It didn't. No. Okay, well, maybe enough time passed. Today's come and gone for the age of a good. Yes. Just about or done. Hold on, I want to try this again. What do you want, Cat? <laughs> to harm you with paper? Is that such a crime? Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, we're gonna eat all these fish out of the barrel. We just gotta sneak around. Get you up, Sven. Keep your head down. Stay out of sight. It only restores two points of hunger if it's not cooked. Okay, so raw meat is not going to help us out that much. How do we cook then? Is there any one ingredient recipe? I don't know if there are. They're all two ingredients. Leek! Ah, grilled leek. It's only 18 points of hunger. Stand. Shit. Okay, the only thing we can cook is grilled leek. Hold the full battles in gold yet made. 
Get married and get them to cook for you. That's such a good idea. Do all... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is this is hard. We have to start... I think we have to start writing down some of the things that we need to unlock in this game to progress. That's a brilliant idea. A spouse that can make food for us is huge. And obviously, I'm partial to marrying Balamond. Ovens can cook other one-item things. Okay, so ovens... <clears throat> we're we're going to have to take some notes here. Everyone, put on your thinking caps. Let's think together. Because, you know, I mean, now that we're through the intro, I think I do need to start writing down some little short-term goals that we need to try and complete. So let's pull this bad boy up. <clears throat> Create an empty slide here of just some short-term goals. Short-term goals. Get married. Spouse can give meals. Zoom in on this just a tad so y'all can see it a little bit easier. Try to make it look as professional as possible. Oh, that looks awful. Hold on, this this looks like this looks like trash. Get married. Oh, unreadable. Does an underline help? That looks okay. So get married. Spouse can lend, spouse can give meals. Cooking is difficult. We could also put in here, man, this form, this is just, this might be my worst example of formatting ever. Somebody also mentioned an oven. Find oven. Oh, this just looks so bad. Leave me alone. Access to one ingredient. Recipes. This is where it gets really interesting, though. Trying to answer some of these questions is a lot of fun. Uh, okay, follower, spouse, so they can cook on the go better than an oven. That's huge. That's absolutely massive. But here's the thing. If we have a follower spouse and they end up dying, because our followers will be able to die a lot easier, can we, you can get remarried, right? If your spouse dies... Oven just lets you bake potatoes. Okay, all right, that's huge. Let's go potatoes. We'll throw potatoes in there. That's going to be a critical item that we're going to need to find. How the hell did I spell potato? Potatoes does not have an E in it. Can't remarry in vanilla. Wow. Okay, so if we get married, we're not going to be able to take them as a follower. We need to, we need to keep them safe. We have to have that as like a backup option that we can use. Just get Mule. She's essential. I don't think any of the followers that we pick up will be essential. I think the mod we have will kill them. Mirwatch has an oven. Mirwatch is creation club stuff that feels a little bit. Is there another answer to where an oven might be other than Mirwatch? Only Hearthfire Homesteads and the Creation Club. Damn. Okay, so getting access to an oven requires Hearthfire? 
Huh. That... Doing it through Hearthfire, though, feels way more exciting and way cooler than Mirror Watch. So if we do find an oven and get access to the one ingredient potatoes, Hearthfire definitely seems worth it. We can also probably use the farm. Damn, should that be our goal? Should we aim for Hearthfire, Thanehood, and then Hearthfire, not in Falkreath. We've already done Falkreath, Hearthfire on the channel before. So what other place should we try to become Thane in? You won't be able to build a Hearthfire home without holding more than one thing at a time. Shit, you're right. Hearthfire is not possible. Well, wait a minute. Don't you craft using... I guess I did say no storage. I thought the crafting for Hearthfire didn't use the player inventory. I mean, I guess... Could we allow Golden Hills? It's a bit... It's a bit OP. Golden Hills is pretty overpowered. Only sawn logs use a different inventory. Got it. Solitude Inn has an oven. We could check that. Can you not add one ingredient at a time to a pot when making a stew? I would love that. Unfortunately, no. I think that's only if you have JK Solitude. I believe I have JK's. Nishwantham's has an oven? Nishwantham's? Is that even how you pronounce that? Let me look it up. We'll do some research. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Tundra Homestead, Mirwa, Shadowfoot Sanctum, Bloodshell Cavern, Nishwantham's. Oh, it's a player home. Yeah, it looks like they're all CC. Report, repair a dwarven ruin and make yourself at home. The home has no exterior, with the front door opening out into Frostroot Cave. North of Kangrenzel. Can be entered via the passage in Frostroot Cave. I think that might be fun to do. An oven is honestly... Why wouldn't it be? I mean, we can't cook things. Wait, baked potatoes are worse than... Are they? I, uh, I might have a mod that changes how they're balanced. Let me double check in-game. Let's see what actual stats they give us. Help. Baked. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, all of that just to realize that they suck. Yeah, we can't do potato soup because we can't have salt piles at the same time. That would be fun, Phil, if we could kill animals with fire damage and gather cooked. You know, the, the only reason why I kind of want to try and figure out the answer to this question is because we, we have a possible solution, right? 
one solution is we do our adventuring we end up becoming hungry we journey all the way back to an inn and do some inventory manipulation to buy food that's one answer although it's not as exciting and we're going to be able to save so much time if we figure out something could you use telekinesis to carry another item i could i could use telekinesis Oh, cannibal! What? Duh, I, I literally thought about this earlier. We have to become a cannibal. This talk of dragons, oh, that, that, we have to do that. We have to immediately become a cannibal. That's it. We have to. Drop the potatoes. We have a new goal. What is it? Don't you need the ring, though? But I've got a right cannibal is an item. All right, all right. Let me offer you all a proposition. I have stated in the rules. Shut up. We're talking about we're game planning here. I have stated in the rules that I'm not allowed to store items on my companion. However, I am allowed to upgrade that follower's gear. Now you tell me, is the ring of Namira not an upgrade to said companion? Not right now. I think that that is perfectly within the rules. We get the cannibalism ring. When we need to access it, we can drop what we have. You're, you're finding a loophole in your own rules. I mean... It's an upgrade. I think Sven as a cannibal is more dangerous than Sven as a bard. Do vampires need to eat normally? Yeah, seriously, not now, child, okay? We're talking cannibalism over here, all right? Go play tag or something. Well, we need to hurry up. We're already starting to build up our hunger. You'd have to upgrade that ring again then? What does that mean? Werewolf refills food and water when you eat. Damn, we might have to become a werewolf. Werewolf could also be the right answer. Is that weird though, for a cat to also be part wolf? Inside of you, there are two wolves. One of them is a happy, prancing little cat. The other one is a werewolf. You must kill one of these wolves. Does vampirism restore hunger? This is so this is so interesting to think about though. I know I know. Get to the gameplay. Play the damn game. Move along. But I mean I I we have to kind of calculate this out. There's there's a formula here in the game that's going to make this very possible. Feeding as a vamp does restore hunger, but need a sleeping or charmed NPC. Vampire is also a bit easier than werewolf. I've also never really played much vampire on the channel. And true, we can only become a werewolf once a day. Now, granted, you probably only have to eat once a day. But as a vampire, ooh, that's gonna be tough. We're gonna eh. hold on. Wait a minute. If you feed continuously as a vampire, you don't face the negative effects of sunlight, right? They're reduced. For the early game, let's try Vampire. If it totally sucks, we can audible and go Werewolf. Deal?
also it gives a little bit of flavor to the challenge. Never really played vampire. I can't really use weapons. Sven has to watch me feast on people. What's the fastest way to contract vampirism, though? Broken Fang Cape, Morthal. Yeah, you're right. We only have 11 gold. That's not enough to get us to Morthal in one trip. Let's get a little bit of gold. Make some money, do some of the early game shenanigans right around. Oh god, I'm gonna get my ass kicked out here. I should probably do BFB. I think I should be able to get through Silent Moons. I can effectively take that on. And a healing spell. You know, I, I make a note of this in the 30 days video. Why the hell do I always forget how important a healing spell is? Always. Oh man, I bet some raw mammoth meat would go hard right now. I bet that actually has some decent benefit. Uh, Sven, come here. Where you at, buddy? Shut up, die. Don't even loot you. I just rip the Nern root out of the ground to kill the sound. All right, I guess Sven doesn't want to hang out with me anymore. Regular vampires suck. Start with werewolf until you can get vampire. I'm, I, I kind of want to go. I'm not going to, I'm kind of committed to vampire right now. Let's try not to take too much damage out here. Nice little level up. Two points of hunger. What is the point of being able to eat raw meat if I get two points? Ooh, shoot. I need that. You know what? I know we don't like backtracking. I am going to go back to town. Uh, there's also a bed. There you are, you little... Damn it, Sven, you're annoying me already. Come here. I want to take that first light armor perk. Reason being, we take that first light armor perk, that's going to get us a small amount of uh, light armor experience. When wearing at least two pieces of light armor in combat. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's like my favorite perk in Ordinator. And it requires two pieces. Oh gosh, it's like everything I want, I just run into a wall. I'm right behind you. I'll head back home if you need. That's literally not what I wanted to click. It's probably not a good idea to walk around naked like that. Lead the way. Thank you, Sven. Thank you. If you can't tell, I'm back. doing something here. What do you want me to carry? All right, let's upgrade him to a steel sword. Take that. I will be taking the iron dagger and just dropping it onto the ground. Why are you upgrading Sven? We want Sven to die. You know what? I need his help. Why is Sven yassified? It's because I have that one mod. I know, I know, I know. I I, I see you recommending Sacrosanct. I'll look, I'll look into it. But if it, if it makes vampirism way too OP, I don't want it to be OP. I also need to make sure to keep... You know, some of the mechanics relatively understandable without knowing every single mod that's in play. Oh, hell yes, yeah, Sven. You can do it. I'll stand here and dodge, Sven. You shoot. Nice, one down. Aggro to Sven. Please aggro onto Sven. Woo!
Kicking ass. Mmm, I want to take that amethyst so bad. This sucks. Did that first one have hide armor? No, fur armor. That person's wearing fur armor. We're going to switch armors. It's going to at least give us something to sell. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Whichever we get more of after this, fur armor or hide armor, we'll stack it. Sven kicking ass and taking names. Ooh, they're stuck in the animation. Yikes, yikes. Was not ready for that. That did a ton of damage early. Fall back. Sven, go tank. No. Oh my god, I'm so close to dying. All right, one down. Keep it up, Sven. Can't take a hit here. Holy shit, he's doing execution moves. They teach you that at Bard College? Hey. Take a deep breath. Relax. Main character. No, don't give me that look. I can't have you, you know, stealing all my thunder. It's unfair. It makes me feel weak. Sven's got to relax. For armor. What? No. They're two different models. Well, which one did I have? That one stacks. Oh, no way. They count as separate for armors. That's so funny. Nice. That's big time. We got a new spell. Dispel magic. Dispels all magical effects except diseases on friends and foes. I can't really see myself using that one a whole lot. Might as well give it a try. Couple skill points, but nothing major. Thank you, kind sir. Glad to catch a stream. You've been my favorite streamer since I yes. discovered your channel. Yeah. You're currently holding top spot in my top five. Sweet, sweet. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, does flower restore hunger? Hardly. I'm going to eat it. Ooh, green apples. Not bad. Tomatoes. Not bad. Salt pile. Shit. I need health. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Let's eat the flower. I, I wonder what would that give us like five health. Salmon stay. I can't eat the salmon on the table. Oh, wait a minute. Duh. What am I doing? Of course I can. Sorry. The, okay. So the fun thing about this challenge, though, it rewires my brain. Or like I have to rewire my brain in order to eat the salmon steaks. I just have to briefly drop my armor. I didn't even think about that. I can still eat in inns. I can still eat food off of the tables and eat scraps. I literally just need to clear up that inventory slot so that in the moment I can. So we can probably eat two of them. We are back to being at full hunger. And I'm not sure how often this refreshes. We'll just drop the salmon steaks there. Throw the armor back on. Both are in our inventory still. 
All right, all right. I'm going to get into the flow of this, though. Carrying salmon might be better than armor. You think so? I mean, yeah, now that I realized I'm not going to be able to get the passive light armor XP. Did you see my enchanted items only challenge idea? I might have. Possibly. I think someone mentioned something similar in chat today. But if it was an idea you submitted on the Discord server, I probably haven't gotten to it yet. I haven't checked the channel in a while. Sven? Okay, thank God he's here. Uh, Sven, careful. No. Sven, 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 you okay? Don't die on me. We can't lose you right away. It's a 25% chance he dies. I'm gonna assume he's okay? That arrow kills me. Oh, that was close. Oh! I about walked right into it. Yeah, he's good. He's good. You can't kill Sven. For armor? Different model. Damn it, and a different. Okay, there's like four versions of the same fur armor. Or like, they're all different. Might have been a bad call. Huge, 46 gold. And it wasn't locked. There's a locked chest in this next room. I think there might be lock picks. Oh God, invisible. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like an elite in Halo. Didn't even have to use a sword. That's how cool Sven is. And now there's hide armor. God dang it. Please, out of the way. What's the, hurry? the hurry is you need to get out of the way. Damn. I'm locked out of the treasure room. I know for a fact that one of the bandits outside had a lockpick in their inventory. This is gonna sound silly. We're gonna stack. No? Are they different models? God damn it, they are. I guess there's three different models. Three different models of fur armor. No, I can't make Sven hold them. There's the lockpicks. Take the lockpicks, leave the armor. I think we're still gonna have to kill somebody. But I do wanna loot this room just on the off chance we find something that might upgrade Sven or just find loose gold. Gotta be careful, we only get two shots. Only need one. Uh oh, what is that? Lunar Iron Mace? I don't think that's going to help us out a whole lot. Nada. Because we get a little, get some gold. Nothing much else, though. I think there's another rewards chest, though. Yeah, one more. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's the door I came out of. 58, huge. Nice, okay, we're up to 190. And we'll get rid of our lockpicks. Ended up coming out of there with a little bit more than we wanted.
Dude, not cool. Oh, I forgot how powerful the mud crabs are for some inexplicable reason. Why are they so good? I'm just gonna let him take care of it. You got this, Sven. You know, if you could use insecurity to kill enemies in this game, Sven would be one of the most powerful followers in the game. Are you serious right now? He can't hit him. He hey, he keeps swinging horizontally. He's not going to hit it. I couldn't I could barely even hit him. All right, we'll turn in the bounty, get some gold. Does Sven randomly play bard stuff? He should. I honestly don't know what happened to the mud crabs. It was like when we did the 30 days Iron Man. I got killed by a few mud crabs. Okay? It was a glitch or something on the back end of this game. But ever since then, they have just been really powerful. Like they hit hard. They don't play around. I really talked up that I'm going to stack up. I didn't even stack it. Oh, I didn't even stack it. Already 0 for 1. You know what? You know what? All right. I try hard. I put in a lot of effort. I give him my all and it's still not enough most of the time. Why can't you use two spells? I only have one spell, or I guess I have two spells right now. I like having a melee option available. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Oh. Why are they so discouraging? Just once, I'd like to hear a guard say, Oh, is that lightning? Dude, that's sweet. I have a cousin who's really into magic. No, oh, it's always just negativity. I got a clean mug around here somewhere. If it's work you need, sure thing. It's yours. I'll Thank you, you, kind sir. Right I forgot we have to talk to Preventus to turn in the bounty. Foolish old. You know nothing. Nothing of our our Prickly Jedi, thank you for the prime. When you try so hard and get so far, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. That's deep. You come up with that on your own? That's impressive. You should start a band or something. Thank you, kind sir. What's the meaning of this interruption? Well, that explains why come on. Let you in. Just think we need more come on. Then. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Here's the bounty. Excellent, then. Done us a great so service. You were at Helga. Here is your reward. You saw this Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reef. But it's none of my by Ismir Ireleth was right. I'm gonna assume that that dialogue skips itself if we just get out of here. Let's check 280 gold. I don't think that's gonna be enough for a healing spell, but we'll see. It seems this hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Fast healing is 291. Damn. Healing hands, 275. I mean, we could buy base healing. Or we could buy healing hands. Should we keep Sven alive or do we heal ourselves? Alteration armor spells. Yeah, we'll want to do those as well. I really like those spells and the sound they make is crunchy. It's very fun.
No, I think I need healing to start. I'm going to save up the extra gold. I, or, you know what? We use... What other healing spells are there? Oh, this is such a dumb idea. I'm going to take healing hands. Fine. <laughs> it's such a bad idea, but we'll take it. You should join the Mages College in Winterhold. I, it's com it's really not advantageous, but I'll take it. Sven, we're keeping you alive, buddy. There goes all my money. If you count the steel sword, I put like 350 gold. All of that's just invested right into Sven. Can't wait to gut one of those rebels. Thank you, kind sir. If me and Optimus Skull Crusher can't count on you to be there, at least drive me to the Twitch Bortion Clinic, you deadbeat. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I appreciate you going really, reaching really deep into your pocket for some outrageous Twitch baby lore. <laughs> Twitch Bortion is just so fucked. If it's work you need, how about All right, let's claim our level up. What time is it? 2.58? We got plenty of time in the day. Now, do we go? This is going to be so weird. How the hell am I supposed to get? What do I have to get? 20 light armor so we can get the hand to hand spell? The hand to hand ability? Probably Magicka. I mean, yeah, I invested in healing hands. I'm going to have to go Magicka. And our first perk is going to go on Restoration. This is already... No, no, I, I don't. I don't like this at all. I, I really, I'm just, I hate it. It's fun, though. What a dumb idea that was. <laughs> just shut up. Leave me alone. Tried mercenary work. Might suit you. I have tried mercenary work, actually. I'm quite good. One for one. Ooh, there's missives. What do we got on the board? Let's see. Anything good on here? Deliver potion to Riverwood. You know what? Why not? The item you just received. Do you want to keep? No. No, I'll throw it on the ground. Collect Arcadia's potion for Feindal. Okay, so we just have to talk to Arcadia. She'll give us a potion. I can drop my armor for a little bit. We get over to Riverwood. A little bit of cash. Or, yeah, let's carry it in our hands. I look rather pale. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. What's wrong with me? Um, hmm. hang on, Juvie. You can't give them a drive to the Twitch Bortion Clinic after you made me go to a back alley Twitch Bortioner for my sweet, sweet Darth Rainbow Sparkle Mosnia Snoo. Look, Queen Remy, you're on your own. I told you this, okay? You were just as consensual and, and, and all this nonsense as I was. I told you from the beginning that I was going to be out of there. Take it up with the county clerk or the judge or whoever. Fresh, satisfied clause. Yeah, uh, I have no issues, Arcadia. So maybe just stop insulting your clientele. But do I detect a case of the rattles? Uh, no, you don't. I'm here for the delivery job. Peace. Of course. I love that. It just that drops right there. Arcadia's potion for Fain Doll. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Sven, you can cover us while I do the deliver. Oh, fuck. How do I get it through the loading screen? Wait, hold on. This armor is a direct upgrade. Why can I not? You'll find tonics, I'm right behind salves, you. Poultices, 
What do you want me to carry? It's a direct upgrade for Sven. We give him. Oh God! Now I have to look at his nipples. Stop it! Lead on. If I can carry one more item. I got an idea. Here's what we're gonna do. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I'm not losing my armor. Wait a minute, are they already going to fight the dragon? Or do I have to talk to yeah, I still have to talk to the Yarl before the dragon actually spawns in. All right, back to Riverwood. Nice little delivery job. It's good to have some honest work. And based on the last video we did, we know how we can get there just a little bit faster. I'm honestly so happy we found that out. That's a pretty wild little mini hack. If you're hidden, stealing horses is completely legal. Evening officer. All the guards are going to be side-eyeing like, whoa. What is this goofy uh, beat? I don't know. It's on the uh, chill playlist if I hit the chill button. I think it is, uh, I think it is Animal Crossing. You ever try music production? I haven't. No. I learned how to play guitar when I was younger and that's where like 90% of like any of my music knowledge comes from. Music production has to be like insanely hard. Does anybody in here do that? I guess like the furthest I've ever gone with music production in our videos like sometimes there will be a song that has a really killer initial beat but then maybe when the melody kicks in the melody is a little bit too strong and it's not exactly what i'm looking for so i'll often look for points in the song that can be looped and play you know kind of continuously and then i'll also manipulate the audio at times so that it can transition from one portion of a song to another portion of a song that maybe it didn't before which is always really satisfying to work because like sometimes there'll be a portion of the song where it goes like oh that sounds like it could be the ending where it kind of fades out but it's actually in the middle of the song but i need it to play after this note here and then like kind of blend them together it's pretty fun how pissed off is Fandal gonna be will he be happy with us after we bring him his potion Whatever potion he did. What did he? What kind of potion is he get? Oh my god. He's getting a jar and root potion for himself after Camilla broke his heart. Fandal, don't do it. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Look, his eyes are so red. He's been crying all night long. <laughs> Farewell. Can you train me to be better at archery, please? Oh yeah. Look at, look at this. In his goofy ass. Everything you yeah, yeah, yeah. In his nerdy little outfit versus Conan the fucking barbarian over here. Ugh. He actually is mugging. That that right there. I didn't know what mugging actually meant. That that's actually a pretty apt description of it. 
Okay, we're back up to 205 gold. I don't know. I mean, do we just run Bleak Falls real quick? I doubt Bleak Falls is all that difficult. Oh, fuck, I'm already hungry again. I, I played Kingdom Come Deliverance. Do I really have to be hungry in every game? This is weird. I'm like, I have to fight my natural urge to want to pick every single flower. I think I know what we're going to do for alchemy, though. Hurry up and die. The amount of screen time these wolves are soaking up in the kill cam. Still, I have to be a bit careful. It's going to be cold up here. I'm naked. Probably going to freeze to death. We don't want that. Why am I even upgrading Sven if he just refuses to follow me? I hate this guy. Power attack? No? Ah, oh, shit. I'm already cold. I'm empty. Let's take the studded armor. Nice, good find. I forgot that after delivering the potion, I'd be empty. I think I'd rather go for the archer first if I can. Nice, that was huge. Big time, didn't even take a single hit. All right, all right, all right. Don't even need Sven's help. Useless frat boy. Oh, God, don't scare me. You look like a bandit. And that doesn't mean get closer. It's not an invite. Actually, we made a decent amount of gold there. Well over a hundred. I don't know if I want to fight the bandits on the outside of BFB though. I might just run directly inside. These snowstorms look great. What is it, uh, Obsidian Weathers? Yeah, fantastic mod. Like, this is how I remember the game looking when I first played it in 2011. Oh my fudging frick. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, we have to rely now on Sven to win this fight. I've got no stamina. Oh, no. Stay up, buddy. Stay up. That's why I love you, Sven. He's got two archers, one on each side. Oh, okay, that archer's shooting at me now. I think Sven has enough to win that fight. Oh God, he's not gonna be able to hit them while they're crouched. Nice, okay, two down. Oh God, that was gonna hit me. Push him, Sven. Why are you shooting? Nice, he's got the aggro. Nice, 
My guy, you are a champion. Of course it was necessary. You saw how much damage you took. I'm helping. Don't do not refuse giving me credit in the middle of the fight. I am dying though. We got to hurry up and get inside. There's two beds right when we get in with a nice little fire. We'll be able to heal up. Yeah, I probably we'll give Spen a great sword in a bit. I'm frostbitten. What does that mean? Is that like a disease? It's a 24 hour debuff. Damn. No way. I'm a god. Oh, Ten head. I'm a god. What a grand and Thank you very enemy. much. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Denhead, thank you for gifting you five of the channel. Very kind of you. I appreciate it. Not the time, though. I am trying to game here. Um, if you could. I'm, I'm having a very good time playing video games, and I would much appreciate the silence so I can focus on high-quality electric gameplay. I pressed the wrong button. I don't know where the Warhammer went. Why is it nearly killing me? Every time I drop armor, it tries to kill me. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Yeah, let's swap out Sven's steel sword. Let's get him the two-handed. I think he'll just be more effective with it. I don't know about his accuracy. He seems to be very inaccurate with the regular sword. Thank you, kind Stop sir. attacking me. It like collides with my body if I hit the wrong button and goes flying. There, now it's equipped. Oh man, that was close. Uh oh. Oh, man. Bad. Sven! Sven! Look at him. He's transformed from a weak bard into a full-time warrior. Never seen someone transfer. Oh, damn it. I'm try I was trying to make a joke. Sven 10. I was going to call him Sven 10. He's transforming into a warrior from a weak bard. Like Ben 10. It was stupid, okay? Forget about me. That was. Jesus Christ, close shave. This stream is sponsored by Manscaped. I'm stuck. Get. What in the. F this isn't fun anymore. Sven gets to have all the fun. I don't get to do nothing. He's not even in any danger. Studded armor. I wonder if we're still... Fr yeah, we're still frostbitten. Although, okay, so frostbite only affects lockpicking, pickpocketing, and bows. That's not disastrous. Do they have any lockpicks? No lockpick. No, no lockpick. Can't do it. No food really either. I'm sure we'll find some food though as we go through here. There's got to be.
Can you give Sven more and better? Yes, we are allowed to upgrade Sven. That's like our, our only real form of storage is whatever equipment Sven has. Why is it Chad's will grow the bushiest of beards, but nudescape their man parts? Well, the only, uh, the only time I, the only thing I've ever really used manscape stuff for is my beard. I actually thought that their products were really good. If only where there was a hand-to-hand -hand skill. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. There is a hand-to-hand -hand skill, but I can't level up light armor that effectively. It's right in here. It's in light armor. Is this unlocked? Yes. Seven gold. It feels like a win. It might only be seven gold, but it is exciting to find gold. We don't have very many avenues at all for making it. So whenever I can find it, I'm going to take it. I have a really stupid idea. All right, we'll take the scroll here. We'll carry it along as best we can. Don't go into the map, please. We'll carry the scroll along whoop, over here. I think scrolls might be somewhat viable on this run. Okay, scroll out in the room. Equip the scroll. Throw the armor back on and hide. We got to make sure he lives. You're all right. You're all right. Keep pushing. You should try actually hitting something, though. Because you're not hitting it. There you go. Shit, he's taking a lot of damage. That's all right. That's going to be a really good source of restoration XP. It's interesting. We have to take the Golden Claw. I really want to carry Arvel. <laughs> it's going to take so long. Yeah, he's not going to move all that much unless we like strip him, which we technically. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Why would I carry Arvel? I can carry the claw. Yes, yes. OK, the play style is all starting to come together. I carry the claw. We just make sure not to lose it. No gold, no nothing. Come on, give me some gold here. I need the currency. I don't think I like where this is going. And now we can weaponize Thank the golden claw. Yo, my Twitch sub can buy a beer now. Damn it, that would have been so cool. That would have been awesome. That was a perfect. Oh shit, Sven! No, he's down! Oh my god, I completely forgot about him. Don't die, don't die. Don't let this be the end. If he dies here, I'll never forgive myself. I cannot. I cannot believe it. I think that's the biggest choke I've ever had in my life. Thank you, kind sir. You should make this a telekinesis build and just eat items of people. That's the biggest choke You're that visitor, ben I've ever had. Thank you, kind sir. I, I couldn't even, like, react to it. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I didn't really have much to lose, but yeah, we did lose our armor. <clears throat> Look at this. I'm bleeding all over the place. 
And the worst of it all, Sven's still alive. We still have to adventure with him. Yeah, we did. We dropped that key. Uh, we have to. Okay, we just have to get back to Bleak Falls. At least we spawned somewhat close. I wonder why this is my spawn point. Because the last place I slept was in Whiterun. Hey, you know what, though? I have a free inventory splot. Splot? Spot? Space? Plot? Slot? Yeah. You know what? I'm taking advantage. Ooh. That was close. Yes? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm pretty disappointed. Fucking... Really? Bleak Falls Barrow did me in. The first Draugr encounter in the entire game got me killed. Time's at 11 p.m. Am I tired at all? Shit. Okay, we got an injury there. Decreases health, magicka, and stamina by 25. How long does that injury last? This sucks. <laughs> this, this challenge already sucks. Two hundred. We still have some gold. The war, sure thing, is yours for a day. We did lose some though. Oh, is that how I have to heal my injury? I have to level up. That means dying at a higher level is brutal. Let's double check. <clears throat> the injuries. A debuff is received upon dying. Level up to decrease this debuff. To decrease or to get rid of? I don't know about that whole injury stuff. I don't know about all that injury nonsense. Might be getting rid of that one. I already dropped my item or items. I guess I'm not hungry after 12 hours sleep. <clears throat> Out of my way, stranger. Sorry. There's the hunger. Of course it sets in right as soon as I step outside. I'm a coward? Oh, I know I'm a coward. Is this worse than Fallout Frost? No. No, this is definitely still easier than Frost. Frost is ridiculously hard. I think we can pray to get rid of it. We're close to leveling up, though. Return of Jack Frog. I guess we could try the Dispel Magic spell. Would this work? I would assume because Dispel Magic doesn't work against diseases, the injury we have is classified as a disease. Have you died yet? We just did. Sven is 100% the main character. All right, you know what? Sven won't be for that long. You guys gotta remember, we, we do this with every challenge. We start off meek and, you know, weak, really underwhelming, but eventually we get, you know, over the hump. We start kicking ass. Look at the bear traps. 
All right, that character was struggle for a little bit. We struggled to put points on the board. We had a few rough operations with the Dark Brotherhood, but then we discovered the real strength of bear traps. Steel battle axe could be. I'm going to stop upgrading Sven. All right. I feel like the tune of this chat has changed, and now everyone wants to be friends with Sven. Sven is our servant. Okay, he is not our friend. He is our underling. He is a weapon. He is as much to me as a sword. That's it. Our relationship begins and ends at killing things. We don't discuss things. We don't have conversations. We don't even know how many siblings the other person has. We don't talk about that stuff. The conversations we have are Sven, here. Sword, take. Enemy, kill. We talk in binary. Yes, no. This, there. That's it. Close call. Is that the golden? Oh my gosh, why is the golden claw? It respawned all the way back here. I saw it like out of the corner of my eye. All right, now after all that nonsense, I'm not gonna blow it this time, we're back. We get a second chance. We never often get a second chance. Are they dead? Are these the guys that killed me? No dicking around. I'm taking this serious. Okay, he lived. Whew. Ben, you're in the way of my shots. What is he doing? No yeah, Sven's the main character. Sven's the main guy. How many hits did he land there? Tell me, tell me. Who did more damage there, me or Sven? I'm gonna show him up right here. I'll show you who the main character is. Please, Sven, protect me. Thank you, Kong, sir. Ah, yikes. Be really cool if we could find a healing potion somewhere in here. You know what? There is. Ooh. Little secret chest thought he could. Ah! Why must you be locked? Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to kick it to the other room. Bro, bro, no, Sven, why, 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 why? You fucking idiot. Why would you do that? I was turning around. I didn't even let him die there. I, w I turned immediately to pull the chain. What in the what in God's name is wrong with you? It, you deserved it. You deserved it. Where's that one clip? Where where's that one clip? Uh, hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. It's perfect for this situation. 
why the fuck would he do that? How dense are you, Sven? You're dense. It's from Jarhead. It's the it's this clip from the movie Jarhead. I wonder if this I don't I don't know if this will get us claimed. Oh damn, I don't know if I can actually share the audio though. Damn it, I'm always bad at that. Anyway, it's this clip. It's the it's the clip from Jarhead where he's like, I told you to keep your fucking head down. If you would have listened to me. You would be still be fucking alive right now. Stupid fuck. That's how I feel right now. If you'd have just listened to me, Sven. Key to Sven's house. Keys are indeed. Keys are indeed allowed. All right, let's look on the bright side. Sven is now dead. He kind of sucks. We have the key to his house. I don't really know if I'm going to use it all that much. I have hardly any health to get through the rest of Bleak Falls Barrow. And my healing spell is completely useless. This won't be easy, but I think we can do it. I got this. We're going to be all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice and easy. I've been through Bleak Falls Barrow so many times. Getting through it without taking any damage should be easy. There we go. One down. See? Oh, fuck. We just gotta play it smart. I'm already stuck on things. Uh, I don't like the shield guy. He's gonna go for a melee hit. Well, I mean, obviously he'd go for melee. He's gonna go for a quick power attack. It's kind of hard to dodge. Thank you, kind sir. We want DRG music. That won't kill him. Fuck yeah, DRG. <gasps> we gotta level up. Big time. Okay, new plan. We're gonna go back to the beginning of the cave. Oh my god. Oh, I about stepped on the trap because I was... <laughs> was... Oh, my skin was crawling for a second there. Let's get back to the star real quick. We'll get our level up, get rid of the injury. That's going to rebuff our stuff back to the normal stats. DRG is Deep Rock Galactic. It's an awesome, awesome game. Super cool game. If you like Deep Rock, you'll like Hell Divers. If you like Hell Divers, you'll like Deep Rock. They are both awesome. If you like Left 4 Dead, you'll like both of those games. And if you like both of those games, you'll like Left 4 Dead. I hope there's a crossover. I hope Hell Divers at least has a lore crossover with uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Just some mention in the lore about how, you know, there's these dwarves that are also defending Super Earth on the other side of the galaxy. Don't forget, I haven't played Payday uh, too much, actually. Not enough to at least put it in my 
legendary status for a co-op shooter. I'm gonna go health. This is good though, we finally have another perk. And I have, I have zero clue where to put it. Immediate need, destruction. Sometimes it's just best to take what we need right now. In the moment, yeah, having a little bit more lightning is gonna help. It's gonna keep us out of danger. Yes, the dwarves are gathering the nitra, which is what funds all of the stratagems and helldivers. Injury is gone, but I'm still frostbitten. Frostbite, though, doesn't affect anything on our current build. What, what, what's the issue with Payday 3? I wasn't really familiar with it. I saw it had a pretty bad launch. Everybody was really pissed off. It's a lot. Did I, did I miss something? Why aren't you using flames and healing? So I never like to, for these challenge runs, I never like to allow myself to use the stock flames and healing spell that you start with unless I buy them. So if I want to use them, I'll have to spend some gold. Which right now I could? Yeah, we have 300. Server, bad servers and no single player. I mean, like, servers is something that can definitely be, like... People would wait for something like that, you know? Like, with Helldivers, it, it totally stinks that, you know, the game has gotten so overloaded with, like, an unexpected amount of players that the servers are just crashing, essentially. But the game itself is really, really good, so I feel like most people are gonna just give it the benefit of the doubt or just be like, yeah, well, you know, we'll wait a week or so. That would have been so much cooler if I got the first punch. The 360 execution loses some oomph. Also, I don't have a lot of mouse space to do really good 360s. Is that studded? Hell yeah, okay, we got some extra studded. We do finally have a little stack of loot building up. Where'd it go? Oh god, I thought I thought the claw started just going down the river. We do have to get the claw through one loading screen. So we'll have to drop our armor, pick up the claw, go through the loading screen, drop the claw, go back through the loading screen, pick up our armor, go back through the loading screen, and then carry the golden claw. I'm just gonna start looting the chests. Just so that, like, everything falls out on top of it. I just think it's a silly... It's a fun, silly animation. You just can't do that to me. There's lockpicks upstairs. That's just so much backtracking and annoyance for a novice lock. It's not worth it, in my opinion. I mean, we could go for it. How are you going to get the claw through the loading screen door? I'll show you.
I love this participation. I love when the Draugrs are just on my side. You know, every now and then, you get a Draugr who decides, this guy's had a rough time already. Let's help him out a bit. And I gotta love that. Where, where's my hit? Where's my damage? Where's my, my clear, I'm in the zone that, that connects. I don't know why I don't get that. I hate this game. I double hate this game. Stop throwing locked chests at me. Fuck, where'd I put the... Oh, I thought I lost the Golden Claw. All right, so we'll just drop the armor we had. Golden Claw picked up. Loading screen. Drop the Golden Claw. And back through. Uninstall precision? Absolutely not. Zero percent chance. No, 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 no. No. No, I for for some of the jankiness of followers missing swings and some of the weapons being inaccurate, I absolutely will not install it. I just can't. The game feels unbelievably so much better to play. The swings and the connections, like the ones that are mwah, are just so worth it. Archer's top left. Isn't there a second one who usually pushes? There he is. What the hell? Why did it? Why did it explode over there? Yikes. Oh, no shot. He actually got that hit in on me. Oh, my God. I can do this. Arrows? Oh no. Woo! Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, I'm at a disadvantage when he's in a straight hallway like that. There we go. Whew, that was close. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, so do we do we sleep? I mean, I think we have pretty much all the Draugr taken out. BFB is mostly clear. can take him out. Two, two, two. I think we can take him out. Our hand to hand is actually doing quite a lot of damage because of the buff we have as a Khajiit. I want to go for it. I'm not scared. <sighs> Unless my loose armor decides to kill me. Leave the Golden Claw here. Come pick it up after the fight. Oh my god. My armor is going to kill me. My armor is actually going to kill me. How much health do I have? Four.
This is a really stupid idea. Let's do it. Let's beat his ass. I think we can deal a significant amount of damage before he even gets out of the cage. Cave. Tomb. Whatever the hell he's in, I don't care. But before Thank we do that... Do you know we... you get a free sub with Amazon Prime every month? Don't let it expire. That is great advice. That's really, really great advice. Yes, to everybody in chat, make sure you don't... Why must you be locked? Why must you be locked? We'll check the chest on the other side of the room. Please have a healing pot. Oh, if there's a healing pot in here... I don't even want to say it. I, I, I don't want YouTube to get upset at me. Please. Please. Fuck. Dang. Stamina potion is tough. The stamina potion is tough just because it's adjacent to a healing potion. I'm dead. No. Oh my God. Thank you, kind sir. Woot woot. 89 gold sucks. That sucks to lose. And I got the cool Halo song. I don't know why. Well, so I mean, I made two mistakes there. First mistake, I fought him for way too long. I should have bailed knowing that I wasn't going to be able to deal the damage to put him down to a knee. The second mistake I made, I ran away in a straight line. I didn't put enough space between himself and me to block that first shout. I knew that he was gonna get the first shout off. It's always the first move he pulls. I just didn't do enough there. I should have thought of it. Yeah, oh, no. You know what I should have done? I went the wrong way. I should have, after he got out of the, you know, his tomb, after I knew he was gonna engage me and probably hit me with the shout, I turn around, you can go behind the word wall. If I got behind the word wall, I'm probably okay and I buy myself enough time to get out of the room. Separate, possibly hit the beginning of the dungeon and heal. Damn. Third mistake was fighting with four health. No, I don't think that was a mistake. We probably will have to go for a bound weapon, though, pretty soon here. We'll get this out of the way. Oh, my God. I have to make a choice between the dragon claw and the dragon stone. <laughs> I don't know what to choose. Cool Halo song. Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? True. 1 million percent true. I don't know if I want to do bound bow. Mostly just because how well bound bow gives us cool kill cams. And with a follower keeps us out of the fight. I certainly don't want to go with conjuration. There's no emotional attachment to any conjured any any conjured assistance. Where like with Sven, Sven dying, ah, oh, gut punch. Gut punch, Sven died, especially the way his dumb ass went out. Fucking idiot. So stupid. 
All he had to do was wait. Dragonstone is a quest item, so you can just grab them both, I think. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I got one inventory slot. That's it. I mean, I guess I could manipulate the loading screen a little bit and get both of them outdoors. It's probably what I'll have to do. Was that an extra studded armor? A stack of two? If so, that means we're going to leave here with four studded armor, the dragonstone, and the... Dragonstone, dragon claw. I think I know what I'll do. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to leave the armor behind. Why does this... Oh my god. I... I hate this game. I hate this game. I kind of fucking nailed that note. Thank you, kind sir. Our Twitch baby is almost a year old. I'd better start planning the party. Oh, oh, that's so adorable. So adorable. That... That sucked. <laughs> that actually sucked so hard. Of course. I mean, it's only fitting. It's only fitting. Thank you. It just made sir. too much sense. Like, You're the only streamer I watch that isn't a cute anime girl. Just so you know. Uh, that's bullshit. I am a cute anime girl. If I'm, I, it depending on the angle or the time of day. Maybe I'll have. Maybe we'll do a VTuber thing. I've watched anime before. I appreciate that though, thank you. Tree is metaphor, thank you for the tier one, thank you for two months. Quantum, thank you for 20 months. I definitely missed a few of these, let me catch up y'all. Uh, Astral Hams, thank you for two months. All right. uh, it's all about me, thank you for the two months. The Obsessed, thank you for seven months. Soy Sovereign, I missed way too many of these. Thank you for two months. Bees Rights, thank you for half a year. Lone Dark and Wolf, thank you for the tier one. Alien Kurt, good to see you again. Thank you for 10 months. Watching while asleep, thank you for 21 months. My Twitch sub can buy a beer now. That's not how months work. KCA, thank you for the prime. Thank you, kind sir. And Pastel Medusa. Thank you as well. Okay, so I'm getting rid of the internal injury bullshit. That one's gone. Bound bow adds bound arrows to your inventory, by the way. Ooh. Okay, interesting wrinkle on the forehead of this whole entire ordeal. What, the, what would the VTuber avatar be? If I had a VTuber avatar, um, huge tits. I haven't really thought much of the character design <laughs> at all though. Serpent could be decent, but I think I would rather go with the tower for unlocking. Idgrad Ravencrone? 
I do like me some Idgrad. My max health going into this fight is only 60. That's not a lot. That's that's really bad. The slapping of your character's feet is very distracting. It's like they're high-fiving the ground constantly in communication and friendship. They are one with the stone. I love for a while, why is it so low? Uh, for my health? Well, I died three times in very stupid ways. There's a mechanic with the death mod that we have. Hold on. Savvy play here. That lockpick is huge. No, I, I deactivated the trap the first time. It reactivates when you go back through the dungeon. Um, but there's a... There's like an injury system debuff with the death mod that we have. I'm... I literally fucking hate this game. If I never... I'm never doing Bleak Falls Barrow again in my life. This... I... I, I think I got the yips. I think I, I just have the yips. I can't get through. The simplest trap. I think I need to play like Crash Bandicoot or uh, I don't know what's a what's a really hard platformer something to just get the juices flowing and maybe get some of my skill back because what in the hell is going on? I'll have some meat. Certainly. I, Beard, you're going to freeze to death. I know I'm gonna freeze to death. I currently am. You're that visitor been poking around. I'm washed. I'm, it's over. It is over. I have. I, I can't. I need to get some food. I am, I'm, I'm astonished. <laughs> what in the fuck is going on? Now, I'm sure there's somebody sitting back there who's like, oh my gosh, he totally just let him get himself get killed there for the bit. I wish I had. Oh, I wish. I didn't do nothing. You didn't see shit. Ah, we can go get food from Rayloff's family. Mrs. Rayloff is going to have a ton of food for us, hopefully. Mrs. Rayloff? Oh, shit. Okay, they locked their doors. I'm going in anyway. And I, I don't have lockpicks. Yeah, sweet. Sweet. I forgot how important those are. No lollygagging. Something in the barrel? This is the lowest I've been. I've hit rock bottom. <gasps> Cabbage is free. That doesn't do anything. Ugh, crap, I keep forgetting I gotta hold down the key to actually pick stuff up.
Come on. How are you missing? How the hell did anyone see that? They don't understand that I'm hungry. <laughs> they don't. That was such an aggressive punch noise. Ingot storage. Wait a minute. What's in my inventory? Nothing? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Oh my god, this is gonna take me all the way to Whiterun. Smart woman. <laughs> it's gonna take me four hours to get through Bleak Falls Barrow. I am honestly not sure how to absorb this information right now. It's At least I can probably get some food here. All my gold is gonna be gone. I lost like 250 gold just from dying. Now I have to walk all the way back there. I enjoy this work. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? I I <clears throat> I am gonna be honest with you all though. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is really fun. It's like it's it's tough for sure. I mean it feels fair though, right? Like I died completely by my own stupid mistakes. Need anything else? Just let me know. I did not mean to eat all three of those, but I did. I did. I did eat all three of them. Sure thing. It's yours for. I'll show you to your room right this way. I think I've got some mugs need to grab it. We will get through this. We always do. Is your end goal just going to be finish Bleak Falls Barrel? God, I hope not. Although that timer above my head. It's pretty embarrassing. Let's get this apple pie. Uh, you got no clothes. You should get some. You're about to have no lower jaw if you keep talking. You keep yapping over there. Let me know if there's anything else you need. We need a follower. Yeah, we could get another follower. Oh, let's do it. You know what? Let's get another follower real quick. You know what's going to happen? You know what's gonna happen right now? I'm not gonna have enough gold. I have just enough gold. <laughs> Perfect. A hundred gold exactly. The heat, that, and a true Nord. And why not? A hundred gold says I knock your heart. Just fists. No way. Perfect. Literally one hundred. Thank you, kind sir. Currently in the slot, an apple pie. Come on. See what you're made of. Look at that damage. I mean, that's great. Somebody help. Ah, fight. That's the fastest ass kicking I've ever given out in that fight. Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle it. Oh, and she has good armor too. You're someone who can get things done. Let's not waste any time. Hello, KK? Is that how you would pronounce that? Iridian, thank you for the prime. You're fashionably late? No, you're just on time. We're about to go do uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. I haven't gone there yet, so, you know, we might as well just clear it off the checklist. You know, it's it's early, easy game stuff. Shouldn't really have a problem with it.
Check it out though. See that bad boy? That is our shortcut. Bet you didn't know there was a shortcut there, was there? New follower and profit. I know, I'm back. I told you all. Relax. We'll bounce back. We're still thinking through, you know, what we want to do on this challenge. I mean, right now, this is the initial... We got to get some levels. We got to get some gold. Granted, I lost half my gold, uh, totally not dying in Bleak Falls Barrow to inanimate swinging objects. Oh, shit. I'm actually kind of coming out of this thing net negative, aren't I? Free loot. I'm just going to go right for the kill. Or not. Just stand still. I'm so sick of you all stealing my thunder. I, I mean, I had him. I, I had it handled. Let me be cool. Nothing. We can just eat directly out of the inventory. No gold. No XP for that matter. I didn't get anything from that. Huge missed opportunity not naming this character Jordan Sparks. Just to make another really dumb pop culture reference. Ice Wolf? Sometimes that's an Ice Wolf, ice wolf spawn. That, I, that might be dependent on level. I think once you hit level 10, that might become uh, an Ice Wolf spawn. No, Velocity, I was going to do that. I didn't mention it, but as soon as we left Whiterun, it popped in my head. Tell the followers to wait, then do the trap, and then they won't walk through it. Although it's kind of fun leaving it up to chance. If you'd thought of that before, we'd still have Sven. Guys, did you read the letter? Should we not be happy that Sven bit the dust? I thought I thought everyone hated Sven. When did when did the new Sven supporting coalition arise? Does anybody know what time it was up here? when I first decided to fight the boss, you know, with four health. Like, how long has this been? You have negative channel points? Wait, how do you have negative channel points? That's actually impressive. You're in channel point debt? I need to start charging you for that then. I need to start actively making it harder for you to pay off that debt. That's where I start to make real money.
All right, she's not even following me. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, that easy. Fuck you, door. I can't believe I lost like a half hour. To that nonsense. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. If you die to that trap, you're a loser. You're a loser. Um, you know, any of your hopes and dreams, it's probably about time you start moving on from them. If you cannot get past that trap, you are pathetic. You are not a gamer. All right. Above all else, you are no gamer. You are a failure. Thank you, kind sir. Does this subscription get me out of my debt, Sir Jovulus? Pensive face, folded hands. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Just really tired of everybody making fun of me for going through the, going through the trap. It's not a joke. All right. This is serious, all right? I'm I'm very sad about not being able to get through Bleak Falls and I don't know, it really it really hurts me. It really hurts me when, when you make fun of me for sucking ass at this game. Fuck this game, dude. <laughs> this game so that's actually I don't know I don't even know if you can see it. I did make myself cry though pretty I was like, I was like, I was like <laughs> standing there with my fucking, I was like keeping my eyes open as long as possible. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's not, I'm not crying. I'm serious. <laughs> really str it's really hard. This is a really hard puzzle. Okay. <laughs> This is really fucking hard. God, no! No! It didn't sprint! What the fuck? Why? I, uh, I quit! I fucking quit! No way! Oh my god! I fuck you! It didn't sprint! I'm clicking the thing, it didn't go! It's the game's fault, not mine. Come on in. It's not. Oh my god. <laughs> I did everything right. <sighs> um. Ah. Uh, I can't. I don't. <laughs> Oh man, y'all. Is this challenge? No, no, wait, what? No way. I actually am stunned. I am stunned. I am fucking stunned. I mean, it hit me like I, I okay, like right there. I just tried. Oh my God. Okay. So I'll try and give you an idea. So if I hit W to go forward and then alt, which is my sprint button, if I hit alt immediately after W, it won't kick in the sprint. So like this is like W and then alt immediately after no sprint. 
walk, alt, then the sprint kicks in. There's a slight delay. And that's what, uh, that's what caught me off guard. That's what killed me. You didn't die to the same trap. To no, I didn't die to the same trap. What a ridiculous question. I died to a different trap. Is time cap three hours? <laughs> yeah, just for Bleak Falls Barrow. And then the whole challenge ends. Um, I do have bad news though, folks. <laughs> I, got, I got really, really bad news. We're not beating Bleak Falls Barrow today. <laughs> I can't. I have to, uh, I have, I have to go. I have a family dinner thing that I have to get going for. I feel like you should have a feeling. I know, but the stress got to me. I got, you know, it just, it, 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 it got me. I am shocked though. That, that is one of the wildest things that we've ever had happen on this stream. In a long time. This is going to be a fun challenge. It's, it's already turning out, you know, better than I thought. Worse in some ways, but overall, it should be very fun. I, I, what can I say? Bleak Falls Barrow, man. Wow, what a doozy. Who knew that this would be end game difficulty stuff? Uh, do I suck? Am I ass? Why can, why can I not close this jarhead tab? Oh, that's why. Whew. You suck and oh, I'm both. Okay, sweet. Nice. That's good to know. Uh, let's raid out. Let's send the stream over to somebody else who's live right now. Ooh, what do we have? Josh Drive Hayes is playing Morrowind. I could send you over there. As long as you're all respectful and mature and kind and you're being nice and all that. I'm going to send you over to Josh Strife Hayes. <clears throat> He's been playing Morrowind recently. Whoa, they changed the whole entire rating screen. Josh is one of my favorite YouTubers. They make awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And they've been doing this Morrowind playthrough recently, and people have been really loving it. I've been enjoying it. Super chill. If you're not familiar, they're a great creator. You should watch their stuff. I recommend it. Um, but remember to be respectful. They probably know what they're doing in Morrowind as well. They'll be all right. Don't need much backseating. We'll talk later.